All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and if you are a Muslim, invite your four wives and 60 kids. Uh, today, our topic is about facts, and we are going to discuss facts, which Muslims, they claim that they have it. Uh, I like facts, the same as I like uh, uh, you know, sometime eating eggs, sometime uh, barbecue. Uh, facts, they are exist. They are facts. But it's really funny when a Muslim, he says, there's 10 facts about Allah. I mean, when you say the word facts, do you know even what does that mean? How in the world you use that word? You Muslim do not even know the name of your God, what it's meant. You Muslim never met Allah. You never saw Allah. You never even heard the fart of Allah. So how you say to us 10 facts about Allah? Facts. The fact is that you Muslims, you do not know who is your God. The fact is, if we ask you what the word Allah mean, you do not know what does that mean. The fact is that your prophet himself never spoke to him. The fact is that you have nothing but fictions and you try to say it is facts. I like your facts. <clears throat> so today we are going to discuss uh, an article written by Muslims about 10 facts about Allah. I find them hilarious. As usual, you know, it's like a Sometime when you read Muslims article you find it's like a, a kind of a comedy especially if you are a person who knows Islam very much Let us see what is the facts about Allah So I hope we will not be disappointed because the Muslim who says to us he will discuss facts about Allah I am expecting him to give us facts Okay, so what is the fact number one? <clears throat> Fact number one, Allah is there is no deity except him. <laughs> How in the world that became a fact? Shouldn't you prove to me first that he is a deity? When you say to me that number one fact that Allah, there is no deity except him. Who in the world he told you that he is a deity and how you how you made that as a fact when you say there's no other no other deity except him that's mean you prove first that he is a deity and then you accept you know you you prove that there's no others but you could not I mean just a statement somebody says to you a verse in the Quran Muhammad he said so you see I like how the Muslims they accept uh, witnesses the Muslim they say to you that the book of John written between 60 to 90 years after uh, Jesus. The earliest uh, book of uh, the Bible is, uh, you know, uh, between 30 to 60 years after Jesus. But then Muhammad, he comes 600 years after Jesus. He never met Jesus. He never saw Jesus. Yet Muhammad can witness to what happened to Jesus in the cross. Muhammad is not from the land of Jesus, don't speak the language of Jesus, and he have never met Jesus, and he don't even know where Jerusalem is located. And yet, you accept what Muhammad, he says to you, 600 years after Jesus. And then Muhammad, he says to you, there is no God except the one whose name is Allah. And this is supposed to become a fact. Why? Did you take that uh, verse to the laboratory and you, you know, you get the DNA of Allah and you prove it to us? So I find it very funny how they try to manipulate and to, to lie. Al-Ilah, according to the Arabic Lexus, means a belong who has all attribute that's you know this is what what, what the word al-ilah mean with the, your god secondly it is not like this it's not really like this you see the name of the god of islam and we explained that many times and those muslims are very naive people they have no idea what islam is about if you go in my book i explained that the word al <clears throat> al in arabic is equal to that this is today so for those who they have a simple knowledge we explain it to them in a very simple way as you are saying the la the la but for those who have a deep knowledge 
if one explain to them we go deep to the old Aramaic ancient Aramaic we will find and even ancient Hebrew that L is equal to God regardless is God it's a generic word you know you can use it for pagan God and then whatever after it is going to be the name of the God so L Lah, that God Lah. God Lah is the moon God. You can go right now and search on Google. You will find that Lah is one of the names of the moon God. And this is why we see in chapter uh, uh, Yasin, chapter thirty-six, uh, <clears throat> the Quran say, "Yeah, Sin, Sin." Is one of the names of the moon god as simple as that and if you also Muslim what yeah seen mean you will see that every yeah Muslim he give you yeah different interpretation because yeah Islam is yeah a joke and no yeah Muslim understand what the word yeah mean and what the word sin mean the same as Allah I never saw a Muslim he knew what Islam is about they are just copy paste and 999 point percent of them they don't speak Arabic and even the one who speak Arabic he have no idea how and where those words is coming from because Islam is not really based in Arabic yes it's written in Arabic language today but the fact it is not really it's coming from the Aramaic I hope I'm not getting a call from someone is the Muslim Hello. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, Ultimate Fart. How are you? This is your this is your daddy again coming here. You my listen. Either you speak as an adult, or I will I will I will, I will demolish you. You know that. You know if. if let me let me ask you let me ask you let me ask you a question. I will, I will show everybody that you are an idiot. I will show everybody that you are an idiot. What is the last thing your prophet he did before he died? Let's talk about your topic here. Uh, no, no problem. I want to show everybody that you do not know anything no, about your prophet. What is the last thing your prophet he did before he died? You got a topic. Let's talk. No about problem. It. We will talk about it. I'm asking you. I want to know from you, my lord. My hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My lord, he said in the cross, it's completed. What your lord, he said when what your lord, he said when he, when he was dying. <clears throat> Just let's talk about your topic, my friend. If you you talk about Allah, you. Said, Allah so you, you don't want to answer you don't want to answer yes it's just a question okay. it's just a question okay. you know people are learning people are learning now I learn my Lord in the cross he said it's complete your Lord when he was dying what he said what he did oh uh, everybody can hear you that now you want to die this is not the question you got a topic this is not the question this is not, we will talk about our topic just show everybody that you are an idiot you, you are not a Muslim you you are a follower of you, you are a follower of Rashad Khalifa who is not a Muslim <laughs> now are you going to answer or not is it true is it true that your prophet the last thing he did the last thing he did he did shit is it true is it true that the last thing your prophet before he died he shit yes or no oh Christian people tell Christian prince is, is that a true or not is that true or not Let's talk about your topic. Is that true or not? I, I want to see. I want to see how, why you do not know. Why you do not know? Why me? Okay, I will show everybody that we will go back to the topic. This is what your prophet he did. Look, guys, look at this. This guy is ashamed. This guy is ashamed of his prophet. The last thing he did, he urinated. The last thing he did, urinated. And today I will make you urinate. That the purpose I'm asking this question, I will do to you before you die, life on air. I will make you urinate at yourself. Now we go back to the topic. What do you want to say? Now, now, as long everybody, as long everybody knows now what your prophet did, which is very funny, very stupid. The last thing he did, he pissed. He pissed. Now I want to ask you. What do you want to say to me about Allah, the moon God, who is, you said, he's a deity? There we go. Now hmm. now we're talking. Now we're going to show respect. Now you, you, you're going to let me talk. Go ahead. Cut me off. Go ahead. And then I will let you, right? <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> go ahead. So you said Al. Al means moon, right? Uh, al is moon. Uh, al mean moon. I mean, when I say that the Muslims they don't debate me, they drink camel urine and that affecting their brain. I never said that. 
Oh, I just listened to you say Al means moon. Al mean God, you donkey. You said Al. Mean said mean God. Allah. Shut up, idiot. I mean, let that? let somebody have a brain. Call me. I mean, they could not find from all the Muslim except ultimate fart. I mean, it's recorded. Go back. You are a you are a certified donkey. I never okay, said that Al is moon. You donkey. Shut up. Get lost. I mean, you cannot find me one one smart person to talk to me except this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and as I said, I will make you urinate in less than a few seconds, and you just did. The last thing your prophet he did before he passed away, he urinated. <clears throat> and this is what Muslims do. If you were listening, really, you will find that you are a certified donkey. I never said that Al is a word mean moon. I said Al is a word mean God. Stupid idiot. And people they ask me why you call them stupid? Because they are. I mean, I just said that a second ago. And I have tons of videos about it. And yet he says to me, You just said that. The same as the last time he called me, he says, I found that in your Bible, Jesus have a three father. <laughs> let me uh, let me update you, Abdul. I found in your Quran that Jesus have a three uncles. <laughs> Two uncles and one auntie, Maryam and Harun and Moses, and the, his grandfather, his name is Omran. <laughs> Do you see why I said to you that your what is the last thing your prophet he did? Because you you were going, I, I was prophesying for you. You would do poo poo. You would you do urine. You don't debate. You are a donkey. I mean, how I can have patience to speak to someone like you? You said that Al is a word meaning God. Sorry, you mean moon. <laughs> Let us go to the Quran and show this donkey what his religion says. You see, this is the first chapter in the Quran. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Let us zoom in so all of you, you notice what happened in this verse. You notice here in the first word, <coughs> and excuse me, my voice is not, uh, you know, is tired. Uh, you will notice here, let us make it thin. Or very thin, so you guys can notice with me. Do you see here this letter disappear? Let me make it more clear. Here you will notice here there's a letter in the front of this Allah, but here there's one letter is gone. Do you notice that, guys? Do you see what I'm talking about? Here there's one letter is not we cannot find it here. Do you see it? This letter is here. Now remember, this is a name. If it's a name, we cannot take letters out of it. The name will stay as it is. Doesn't matter where you replace it. Doesn't matter where you change it. That's it. The name is a name. You put the name of Christ here, it is going to be Christ there. Doesn't matter what is before it. Doesn't matter what is after it. But the only reason for the name to change, because simply this is not the name. It is not from the name it's not part of the name simply this one and we will type it clearly here this is supposedly Allah and this is the additional one You see in the screen now do you notice the difference between them this is exactly the difference between verse number one and verse number two one have a letter Aleph which is a equal to a before it and one does not have that Aleph before it now what happened here it says all Lah or Al Lah. Here there's no Al Lah. Here there's Lil Lah. 
So let us make it simple in English. This one is Li La Li La. Let's make it capital letter. Li La. What Li La mean? The Arabic is very clear. It says, and thanks to Allah. Or thanks to La. Li La. Not Allah. Li La. So the first Li, and anyone who speak Arabic in you, mean two. This one here mean two. Let us type it. I'll type it here. Two. Two la. So thanks to who? To la. As simple as that. And this idiot who do not know how to read his 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 even his prophet name in Arabic, he wanna teach me what the word means. We are the Arab. We are the one who taught your God how to speak Arabic, but yet he is an idiot. He could not make it. And this is not an Arabic word, by the way. This is a pure Aramaic. Tu la. Tu la. Here, el la. El la. Now, if we go to Google and we search, you can do all of you. You can do that. You do not need me. Search, you will find that La is the moon god. And we are not making things up. Here they are saying that Ya La, the other Egyptian moon god. La, you know, the moon god have many names. Have uh, Sin, which is more known in in uh, in the ter territory of uh, Aramaic speaking people in Europe, and then uh, 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 same same word used by the Sabian who spread their religion in in Egypt too. So they use it there as La, which is the moon god. Is that a secret? And that is the name of their god. Now, if we go and we search. We do little search in their Islamic interpretation for the Quran. As an example, if we go and take a tafsir for a chapter 36, verse number one Ya Sin. Look what the Muslim they say to us about the meaning of this verse. Chapter 36, verse number one. Have you ever heard of an interpretation funny like this? I mean, where is the interpretation? Yeah, seen. God knows best what he meant by those tatters. Those are not tatters. This is sin, the moon God. Sin is just another moon God name. It's the same God, but different culture, different country. Muslims, they worship nothing but the moon God, not the moon. You know, some idiot, he will say to you, no, the Muslim don't worship the moon. I'm not saying they worship the moon. And the Muslim actually today, they don't claim they worship the moon. But this is the origin of their God name. This is where it's coming from. Uh, the Quran even says, uh, don't worship the moon, neither the sun. But all of us, we knew that Muslims are the last one to know what Islam is about. And we can prove it easy that this is the moon God. All everybody knows, you can go and search, you will find that the moon God did marry from the sun god and he have a three daughters otherwise the muslims need to explain to us that the daughters of allah are coming from where why the arab they thought that allah have three daughters any muslim can explain to us why and how allah had the three daughters for the arab for centuries before muhammad And you will notice here the proof of what I said in front of you. Do you see where it says Al Lat Al Uzza? Do you see it? Al Lat Al is God Lat Al 
Uzza, God Uzza. And yet you will get someone like he do not know what his prophet did. Last thing he did, it was urinating. He did not know what his prophet did. He want to teach us what Allah and where the word is coming from. And he claimed that I said that Al mean moon. You are a donkey. And this is why I'm not going to waste my time to talk to you. Allah, Al Uzza, the goddess Allah, the goddess Al Uzza. The manat, which because it is the god of death, it does not come with Al before it. So three daughters, they are the daughters of a sexual relationship between the moon god and the sun god. This is why you see Muhammad, he is in a competition. He is in favor of the moon god. He is against the sun god. So if you go and see in the hadith, you will, you will find Muhammad forbidding the Muslims to pray when the sun come because uh, uh, according to him that the sun come from between the two horn of Satan. Why? Because the sun, supposedly the moon god, is in control of Satan. <clears throat> where, where the, where the appearance of of kuffar will come from the east? And what is the east? Is where the sun come? Let us explain it more. You see here, this hadith is not translated. Muhammad, he said, look at this. Muslims, they did not translate this hadith, but we will find a different one. Just give me a second. Here it says, don't start your prayer when the sun go up and not when it's set, for it is it come from between the two horn of Satan. Here we go. Now here we prove two things, that Muhammad is nothing but a liar. And Muhammad is a is a person who believe in superstitions, and he is really believer that the sun is, you know, uh, the the there's a there's a god. His name his his the he is the sun god, and there is a moon god. He is the moon god, and as you see here, Muhammad take the side of the moon god against the sun god, and the reason for that is very simple. You see, in in uh, in some areas where it is cold, freezing cold, people they worship the sun god because sun god bring mercy for them out of the cold. Those who live in the desert like the Arab, they hated the sun god, for he bring death, no mercy, thirst, their animals die. While the moon is nice, it's giving them light at night, in the middle of the darkness of the desert. There's no cloud, there's nothing. There's no rain. So sun is death and moon is life. So for them, always the, the, the moon is their favorite. And the sun is their enemy. Do you understand, guys? Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, I, I change any Muslim to tell me why Muhammad is saying that when the sun come, that Satan, the head of Satan, comes out from the side of the sun. Actually, he did not say from the side of the sun. This is a false translation. It says Qarnu Shams. The two horn, the, the horn of the shaitan, they are the same two horn of the, of, the, of the sun. Why Muhammad is saying that? I changed any Muslim to tell me why. I mean, the sun is just a, a star. And what the what does what shaitan have to do with it? Without the sun, we will die. If the sun disappears for a week from this earth, the earth will go in chaos. And if it disappears for a month, all of us will die. So what is the relationship, according to Muhammad, between the sun and Satan? Any Muslim can explain to us? They cannot. Either you have to agree that Muhammad is a super, super station person. He says stupid things. Or you have to say to me where this is coming from. Read with me this hadith. We visited Anas ibn Malik, etc. And when he we had finished the prayer, we mentioned during the prayer early time of, uh, 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 or he mentioned, that in he said that he heard the messenger of Allah saying, "Say uh, he, he he says the prayer of the hypocrite, the prayer of the hypocrite, the prayer of the hypocrite." Three times he have to repeat three times as usual. Is that one 
sit until the sun becomes yellow and is between the horn of shaitan. Do you see it? So Muslim believe that the time at this time the sun is between the horn of shaitan. Explain that to us. How the sun is between the two horn of shaitan. Kuffar, they will come from the east. Kuffar, they, you know, uh, the sun, don't pray in a certain time because it's coming from the shaitan horn. I mean, what does that mean? Because simply, Muhammad, he is an enemy for, this, for the sun god, and he took the side of the moon god. He's an Arab. As all the Arab, they take the side of the moon god against the sun god. Now, If we go back to the article, and again for the donkey, he called me in the beginning. I did not say L is a moon. L is a word meaning God, you idiot. So Al La, the moon God, he is not deity, and there is no way he can be deity. Because how he can prove that to me? How God he can be God, yet he cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. That's not God. I need. I am a man. I need a girlfriend to have a son. How God? He is God, but yet he do not know how he created the baby. That is a stupid God, and God cannot be stupid. How God? He think that he stabled the earth by placing mountains in the top of them, in the top of the flat earth. How God? He think that the earth is a flat. How God? He think that the sun set in murky water. How God he think that the sun goes every day and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah and ask for permission to come? How God he think that the hail is made in, the, in the, broken from mountains in in, uh, in heaven? How I mean, we can go endless. How you say to me, this is God. God he think that the sperm became a congealed blood and this is how the baby is created? That cannot be God. So when a Muslim he says, that there's no deity except him first you did not prove to us to, that he is god so you can say if he is except him or not and the proof in front of us that islam is not made by god it's made by a man read carefully with me he is allah who is the one is talking if allah is talking how he say he is allah I mean, I'm just reading your article. I'm not even posting my own statement. This is your article. This is your translation. How Allah, he say he is Allah. This is a book fabricated by a man speaking about his moon God, who is a God of the Arab before him, who worship a God who have three daughters after having sex with the sun God. He is Allah. Well, you are the one who's talking. You are Allah. How you say he is Allah? Imagine I say to you, he is a Christian prince. I, I am a Christian prince. Here, the verses they are quoting for us are proving Islam to be false. Look at this disaster. A and to Allah belong the best of the names. Hold on, hold on. To Allah belong the best of the names. I mean, how funny, how silly is that? When you say to me, to Allah belong the best of the names. Okay, so any name is a beautiful, we give it to Allah. Even if it's the name of a cat. But there is a behind the story here. There is a different story. They ask Muhammad, how you call Allah Ar-Rahman? Ar-Rahman is the is the is the is the name of the of the guy who claimed to be a prophet in his God Ar-Rahman too. How come now you are calling your God two names? Allah, Allah so you worship two gods now, Allah and the Rahman. Muhammad, after he copied the name from that guy who sent him a letter, says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. It is that guy who said to him, Muhammad, he said, answer him back. He says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim from Muhammad the Prophet. <laughs> so they heard him, they said, Who is the Rahman? And if you don't believe me, we can show you the reference. Let us go here. <clears throat> Chapter 
chapter 17 verse number 110 read carefully Allah say I call him Allah or I call him Ar-Rahman you see here they translated the word beneficence Ar-Rahman as beneficent it's false translation by the way it's not the beneficent so I call him Allah or I call him Ar-Rahman why people are complaining about Ar-Rahman because they never heard Muhammad saying that before but hold on how this is the first time Muhammad saying the word Ar-Rahman this is almost the middle of the Quran this is a chapter 17 chapter 17 you go and go and see according to revelation you will see that this is almost the the, the, the half of the Quran Muhammad he received many many chapters and he never mentioned before the word Rahman but today in the Quran we find the name Ar-Rahman exists in every chapter that's mean the Quran is corrupt now how we can prove that this is a story let us go to see an interpretation chapter 17 verse 110 rough love with me <laughs> Ar-Rahman, even that name is a theft, nothing real. The whole religion is a theft. Let us see. There's a book, it's called the Book of Asbab al nuzul which means the reason for the verse to come down. Let us see what the, what the, what the translation will say. Say, O mankind, I call him Allah or I call him uh, Ar-Rahman Ibn Abbas said one night in Mecca the messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace stood up for the night vigil prayer and he keeps saying in his prostration O Ar-Rahman O Ar-Rahman O Ar-Rahim and the adulterer they said Muhammad used to call his God Allah he used to call one, one God now he is calling two because I never heard him saying that before. <laughs> you see it? Suddenly, Muhammad he, he liked the new name. Muhammad he was stuck for with one name, the name of the Arab, which he they used. Now suddenly, Muhammad he liked the other name. So start he calling him a Rahman. So the Arab they said, "Uh oh, Muhammad used to worship one God. Now he is worshiping two gods." And then, Allah and the Rahman. We do not know anyone. Read carefully with me. By the name of Ar Rahman, except Ar Rahman of Al Yamama. This is a, a, a guy who claimed to be a prophet, and the Muslim they call him Musaylam al Kadhab, which means Musaylam the liar. Musaylam the liar. By the way, he is a liar, but your prophet is a liar too. And the proof he stole the name from him. Do you see it? Yes, Abdul. So I don't hear you. I said, what are you talking about? You sound so dumb. Sorry? You sound so dumb. Yeah, well, I believe that camel urine is healthy and you are the smart. You know why? I'll, I'll tell you why you sound dumb. You know why? Mm-hmm. He says, stop. He said Muhammad called Allah the most merciful. Do you know what the most merciful means? Where it says the most merciful. The most merciful means the most merciful is the most Ar-Rahman is the most merciful. Okay, but why this is time the first time Muhammad using the word Ar-Rahman? Do you know? Because Allah calls himself Ar-Rahman. You have to read. Where, where, where? Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Read with me carefully. The people they say they never heard him saying before the word Ar-Rahman. Suddenly Muhammad saying Ar-Rahman. Today in the Quran, yes, in, every, in every in every chapter. Muhammad, okay, let me ask you then. If this is the first time Muhammad he mentioned the word Ar Rahman, why we find in every chapter in the Quran, in the beginning, verse number one, it says in the name of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. So this is a corruption. This is the first time Muhammad received this. Word. First of all, you have to understand that the Quran is not from Muhammad; it's from Allah Himself. This is, this is the question. If if it is from Allah, how come this is the first time Muhammad using that word? How that's mean? Muhammad never said to uh, Allah never said to him before that word because this is the first time. This is the chapter seventeen, verse number one one ten, according to Revelation. What is the number of chapter chapter seventeen? I don't know. So what do you think? What is the reason? For revealing the most merciful? No, why Muhammad never mentioned the word Ar-Rahman before? To the point everybody Muhammad around him. The one who's mentioning the stuff in the Quran is Allah. 
and uh, doesn't matter okay why Allah did not because people they will hear it from Muhammad at the end so what Allah I'm asking you why Muhammad never said the, the word Ar Rahman before you are reading the surah surah al-isra the end of the ayah. I am I, I am ayah. asking you why Muhammad did not say the word Ar Rahman before do you know what this is do you do you know do you know what this chapter is yes yeah, surah isra okay so this is when when this happened to Muhammad Surah Isra is the surah that Isra is the, the taken to the um, Bani Okay, Israel. what is the number of this chapter? I think it is, I'm guessing it is 17 or 18. No, the real number is 50. 50. Uh, yes. Is that what you're saying? Or is that the truth? No, this is, the, I don't say lies, my friend. This is, you Muslim, you, you lie always. Al Isra okay. is number 50. This is the truth. According to Revelation, according to your Muslims uh, uh, reference, this is chapter number 50. That's mean Muhammad never mentioned the word Ar Rahman until half of the Quran. So he received half of the Quran already, and he never said the word Ar Rahman to the point people they were saying to him, Who is Ar Rahman? You are worshiping to God now. So then he said, That's Allah, he gave him this. Surah 17. No, it's chapter no. of, you see, because you are ignorant, all Muslims are ignorant. No, it's surah okay. What, what if I got you busted? You want to get you busted? Not only get me busted, show me everything. No problem. Here we go. This is what we do. This, I'm, this is why I'm a Christian prince and you are not. Christian prince, may Allah guide you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Allah guide no one. Don't you see? Don't you know may that Allah? Allah guide don't you know Allah that Allah? Allah, Allah he said he is the one who must guide. Here we go. Al Isra no. is number four, seven, 17. It's number 50. Do you see it? <laughs> you just got caught in your own saying. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you, you see it? Caught, it is number 50. Do you see it? Where? Ah, uh, so that's right. Yeah, it's number fifty on the list. It's number seventeen. That number I no, number fifty in the list according to Revelation. This is the website here. This is Islamic website. Are you all right? Show you, showing you according to Revelation order. According to Revelation order. Now you are reading the book according to Uthman. So according okay. to Allah, this is chapter number fifty. So your prophet he received fifty chapter, yet he never mentioned the word Ar Rahman yet, and this is the first time. Explain that to me. The Quran. Okay, Quran. Ask you one question. No, don't ask me, my friend. I have no answer. You are the. You are the one. Uh, you, you said okay, I am dumb. Explain. You said I am stupid. First you said I am. So you are the one who can answer. How Muhammad no, never explain. mentioned the word Al Rahman? After fifty chapter, half of the Quran. He have already half of the Quran, and yet he never mentioned the word Al Rahman yet. Okay, can I answer? Go ahead. Okay, first of all, you guys have to realize that the Quran. He, who are min rahman he it is from the most merciful who are rahman <laughs> is allah is the most merciful this so is not the allah question abdul this is not the question why muhammad never mentioned the word ar rahman 50 chapter is gone 50 chapter of the quran and yet muhammad never I'm, mentioned that there is a name for allah his name ar rahman <laughs> so, i don't hear you what because Allah did not mention it. Allah, Allah Thank you guys. Did you did you hear did you hear him say it? Allah did not mention it because Allah did mention did not mention it. Thank you very much. That means the Quran is a corrupt book. Because we find in every verse in those 50 chapters, every Quran, we find it says in Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So if Allah never mentioned that word Ar Rahman before, that means all those chapters before this chapter should not have the word Ar Rahman. But all of them they have a Rahman. Yeah, well, it's too under some. Are you going to go? To, are you going to go to sleep now? Are you going to go to sleep? Never mentioned it before. You just said you just said because Allah never mentioned it before. I agree with you. No, He never mentioned it before, and you agree. You agreed with me. That's wonderful. Now I'm asking you. So why all the verses have the word Ar Rahman or the chapter if this is the first time Ar Rahman appear? This, this guy he do not know what I'm talking about now he played dumb you see he called me he called me he called me dumb but now he is playing literally dumb now he do not know I'm talking about what now he's saying to me are you talking about the word of Rahman or the he I'm asking you you are the, just the one who said that the word of Rahman
All right, guys, I don't know if you hear me. I had a difficulty. I just came back. Uh, let us see. All right, am I heard? You're back. All right. You're back, yes? Yes, go ahead. So what do you want to say to us? Okay, so first, first 50 chapter is gone and yet your prophet never received the word ar rahman how do you explain that to us go ahead okay first of all ar rahman is one of the names of allah you know that no problem this is, this is what you are saying your prophet he stole the name of ar rahman from someone else so now i'm asking you oh, here is saying he's from? who's saying that the hadith the the the, 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 the book of asbab al nuzul my friend, are you are you are you with me or not? I'm asking you. According to your book, Muhammad never said the word Ar Rahman before until this chapter. And this is in the front of you. This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul. Do you see it? And this is your translation, and this is your Islamic website. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Okay. So according to your books. This is the first time Muhammad he said the word Ar Rahman. So people they were wondering what happened to Muhammad? Why he is saying Ar Rahman? He used to say Allah before only. Now maybe he is worshiping two gods. Because the other one we know, his name Ar Rahman, is the Rahman of Musaylama. Your prophet he stole Ar Rahman from Musaylama. So I'm asking you, I showed you the reference. The first time your prophet he got that, and then we showed you. How that the first time Muhammad he got that is in chapter of Isra, which is a chapter number 50. And you agreed with that. Now, so how you explain to me that every chapter in the Quran today have Bismillah Rahman Rahim? If this is the first time Muhammad received the word Rahman. Okay, 29, 29 surahs came down with Bismillah Rahman Rahim. One surah did not come down, and that is Surah Tawbah. You know, but this means that's a lie. That's a lie because according to your revelation, the, uh, the, the Quran, according to revelation, that your prophet he received that as number 50, which means after 50 chapter is passed. What 50 chapter are you talking about? Aren't you the one who said to me before? This is the reason because because he never received it before. Aren't you the one who said to me he did not mention it before because he never have it before? You forgot what you said to me. Yes. Yeah, I mean, are you serious? Did you forgot? I think you forgot. No, I did not forget. Okay, so I am asking you now. Because why you're a prophet? Why answer, please? Why you're a prophet? Never mentioned that before. Because the story you are reading instructed him to say the name. What uh, what uh, what the name? What the name? What do you mean? Surah Isra. Surah Isra instructed the Prophet to use Ar Rahman. Okay, and I just ruined your whole discussion. No, That's no, no. Hold on, hold on. Said. They never heard it before. What do you mean to? So before he never used it. Your but they, but okay, so so he, he so hold on, hold on. So the Quran, according to Revelation, saying that he got that after fifty chapter. Did you go to the last last verse on that surah? Finish this one first, and we can go to any verse you want. No, that's the one. That's the one on the same surah. On the same surah, it tells him to use the word Ar Rahman. Doesn't matter. Here, here, your prophet he explained why. why. He why says, he "Hold on." It. The verse in the front of you it says, "I call him Ar Rahman, or I call him Allah. All the good names belong to Allah. It doesn't matter." And then, no, that's what, that's what you don't understand. This is the first time they're telling him to use the name. My friend, no, no problem. I'm going with you. He told him to this use the name. You know the but this is Muhammad is claiming that. Muhammad is claiming that Allah told him that he was answering people. Why you are saying a Rahman? Don't you no, read? Are you blind? Prophet, are you blind, my friend? It says in the front of you. You're yes, a prophet. Yes, yes. You're a so prophet. He never used a word a Rahman before. So he was answering them. So he said to them, I call him Allah or I call him a Rahman. It doesn't matter. For all yes. the good names belong to Allah, but this is not the question. Okay. The question right. is why 50 chapter of the Quran pass and yet Muhammad never used the word Ar Rahman. Could I answer, please? Go ahead. So Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he started using the word Ar Rahman, and then the people were saying, "Why are you using this name now?" He used to say Allah, mm. and then because the Quran is revealed as revelation from Allah to Creator Himself. Mm. Allah replied to his slave, the messenger of Allah. He said to him, 
tell them to say Allah or tell them to say Allah or Ar Rahman, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter to him. Mm -hmm. The name that you, he has 99 names, so every name that you call him, it doesn't matter. Even call him the Creator, mm -hmm. whoever you call upon, whatever his name, any name that you. This want is another question, name. Abdul. Are you listening or not? Are you listening? I know that Allah He said to him, say that. This is the response. But this is another question. The question yeah. is. 50 chapter 50. Let me type it for you on the screen because look like you are not listening. Yeah, Muhammad he delivered 50 chapters already, and this is yeah. the first time, and you agreed the first time he mentioned the word Ar Rahman ever. The question is, why in the front of every chapter except the chapter of At Tawbah it says yeah. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim? That's mean somebody is adding that. Because you agreed oh, that this is the first. Oh, you know, no, oh. everybody heard you. You agreed. You said this is oh. the first time he used it. Everybody heard you. Because before, oh, you, said, you, said, you said, you said, you said, hold on. Rahman. You said, you said he never used it before because Allah never taught him to use it before. No, Bismillah Rahman Rahim is not a Quran ayah. It's just something Allah said. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Allah. Bismillah Rahman Rahim is not a Quran ayah. So what it is? You can read the Quran without saying Bismillah. I'm asking you, no, it is ayah. Here we go. What, what are you talking about, Abdul? Everybody is laughing. So why you, why you, why, why you, here we go. Hold, hold on, hold on. Every, everybody is laughing at you. So why you put it here? Here we go. Is that number verse number one? Why you are, why you are counting it verse number one? Could I answer, please? I, I'm asking you, why you count it as a verse if it's not a verse? No, listen, you know, before you eat, you say in the name of God. That's another That's question. Like so are you saying to me, you add it in the front of every chapter, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, but yeah, the fact Allah never said six. that. You agree in that. Oh, guys, do you hear it? The Muslims, oh, they ethics. added they yeah. added this verse in the front of every chapter, but it's Allah never said verse. that. So if it's not a it's verse, how you put it in the Quran? If it's not a verse, it's why you put it in the Quran? Could I answer, please? <laughs> Your, your views are gonna know you're not letting me answer. Could I answer? No, I'm letting you answer. I'm asking you why you added there. You said to me before we do things, we have to say in the name of Allah, but this is a fabrication because it's not you who is doing that now. It is Allah he who said, said that the Quran, the Quran supposedly is the word of God. If your God did not say in the name of Allah, you don't say in the name of Allah. He Plus, said that. Yeah. If he said that, you say that. If he did not say, who are you to add it? How you add, you, you agreed and everybody heard you. That in the front Please, of the in the answer. Quran, there is no in the name of Allah, the most merciful, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. We Muslims add it. Who allow you to add it? Okay, Quran answer, please. Well, okay, listen to me very carefully, please, Christian Prince. Please, if you have a brain on me, please mm. listen. The Quran, when I pray, I can say Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I don't have to say Bismillah. It's like a this look in the name of Allah. Everybody knows when we say in the name, they know what we're trying to say. We're trying to say, I read this coming verse or I read this next surah or whatever I'm about to say is going to be in the name of my Lord. So I don't. I am not. I'm not asking about what you say. I'm asking you why it's written in the Quran. You can say whatever you want. You can say in the name of the rabbit. I don't care. I am asking you why you add it in the Quran and you give it even a number. Why it is there if Allah never it said that? Down with the Quran. Not what? It came down the Jabil said the No, the it did not came down with the Quran. You just admitted yourself. I said to you, why Muhammad never mentioned the word Ar Rahman before? You said because he never he, he never have it before. Allah he gave him the name. So the now, Prophet did mention he didn't mention Ar Rahman before, but the people never no. heard him when he mentioned it how, the how, first hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, did you hear this? The people never heard him saying the word Ar Rahman. Muhammad he mentioned Ar Rahman before, but nobody heard him. So what he was whispering to himself. No, listen. Muhammad, uh, he was delivering Quran to the people or only hide it himself. What do you mean nobody heard it before? How he received it, yet nobody heard the maid, it. The maid of the Pharaoh said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It's not a big problem. Everybody knows what This is not a question. Even, you said, even you you said he said never mentioned it before. You said he never mentioned it before. Everybody heard you. So Muhammad was giving, was giving Quran, but he used to hide it? No, listen. Quran answer, please. Hmm. Listen, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Is something in the beginning of every ayah to you know for blessings or to you know just for blessings from Allah that I'm about to read Allah's words. So this is another question. You repeat yourself. I, I you answered that already, and I told you I am not asking you why you say that. I'm not asking you why you say that. I am not asking you why you say that. I'm asking you why you add that to the Quran. 
is not something added it's something from Allah himself you just said you just said we say that so and you said it's not from the Quran and now you are saying it's from the Quran no, okay okay not, as long as it's not. from the Quran let's go back to zero you see why I hang up on Muslims they are kids listen to me my friend I am saying to you you're a prophet and you agreed that you said that him the reason he never mentioned it before because he never have it before and then when we check according to revelation we found that the chapter of Isra is a chapter number 50 so Muhammad okay. delivered seven is the 50 chapters you, already please, to be honest with you hmm. I really don't have an answer I'm gonna be honest okay okay so okay for guys okay, I, I, I respect you your honesty I respect your honesty and you have no answer from the beginning says that why are you argue please, arguing with me please, I ask you a question please. okay okay ask me a question go ahead do you think do you think Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wrote the Quran I just want to ask you this please no Muhammad he did not write the Quran Muhammad is a collector Muhammad is uh, some uh, stories from here and there uh, but so the, who wrote the Quran it's Uthman ibn Affan. Whose word is it? Whose word? Not written. Whose word? Nobody knows whose word. This is cannot be from God anyway. I mean, see what I mean? You don't even know whose word it is. Yet you no, say I do not know because here we go. Okay, let me show you. Is it, is it the Quran says that this is the uh, uh, the Quran is the statement and the and the says of, of a prophet? Huh? Isn't it the Quran says that this is a Quran made by a prophet? You're talking about Surah Najm. I've memorized the Quran. You're talking about Surah Najm. Doesn't matter. I'm asking you. Does it, it say? Does it say? Listen. Does it say that this is the words of a of of uh, of a noble prophet? Does it say that? No. I had a, uh, this is the call of Allah. This is Allah's word. Not okay. The Quran the says the opposite. Let's read it together. Chapter eighty-one, the, verse number nineteen. Brother, hold on, my friend. Hold on. Hold on. Chapter 80, chapter sixty-nine, verse number forty. It says it clearly that this is indeed, indeed, indeed. The speech of a noble messenger. Does it okay, say that? I answer that? Does it say that? Yes, it does. Okay. I answer that? Hmm. Okay. When it's saying this is indeed the word of a noble messenger, it is it is answering what the prophet was saying to his people. They didn't believe him for saying this is the word of Allah. They said you're a liar. And then the Allah responded by saying, No, you guys are lying because whatever he's saying is the word of no, a messenger. This is not what happened. Uh, no we can messenger. go to the book of Asbab and Nuzu. We can go a reference. We see. That they oh, accuse him, my friend. Hold on. Him. They accuse him that he is stealing the stories of other people before him. He says, "No, this is indeed my speech, and this is not a poet speech because he was doing saja, saja ul kuhan." You can go and search. Maybe you do not know what saja means. Do you know what saja means? No, I don't. Okay, we go to the hadith and we search for the saja. Here we go. Saja Muhammad he used to do saja, and what is the saja? Is making Quran the same as the Arab they used to make Arab uh, songs, which is funny and stupid. Here we go. Min, uh, here we go. In the Ikhwan al Kohan, they accuse him. To, uh, they, he says this is from the speech of the uh, of the of the of the Kohan. The Kohan is like a monks. The, the, the Arab they used to have people who speak only in Arabic music. You see it all of this. It's in the front of you. So Muhammad here. He is saying that he make Quran the same as the Sajjah of the Quran, of, 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 uh, of the Quran, the same as the Sajjah of the Arab. Read it. But you just said Muhammad didn't, it's not Muhammad's word, he said, the Quran. Is, the stories are not his stories. You see, read with me carefully. It says, Allah Messenger said, he was talking uh, 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 in, in the tone, phrases like the tones and the phrases of the desert Arab. Do you see it? He's copying their yeah. way. Quran is a copy of the Arab desert, the way they speak. It's, it's, it's not something new. So Every Muhammad, story you find this is your Quran prophet agreeing. You, your prophet Torah, agreeing. Okay, why your prophet saying I am just speaking the Quran is the same as the Arab desert to speak? Why are you saying that? Why he agree? Huh? Quran answer. Can you read for us? Yes, yes, I'm okay, going to answer it. this. Okay, read beautiful. for us. Read answer. for us and explain what Muhammad is saying here. Why he's listen, copying the Arab? Who is copying no, no, the Arab listen. now? Who is copying the Arab? Allah or Muhammad? Okay, Quran answer. Uh huh. Okay, you know in the Quran it talks about a lot of stories that are also mentioned in the Bible and the Torah, okay? None of them is true. What do you mean? Yeah, like uh, in, in the in, in the in the Quran, Mary is the sister of the Aaron. <laughs> Hold on. Mary, her name is Maryam, she is the sister of Aaron, her father is Umran. None of this information is true. No, Binta Imran wa Ukti Harun. Yeah, Umran is the same is the same name as the father of Moses too in the in the Quran. So yes, Moses and Harun okay. are the are the siblings of Maryam. 
Oh, they are discipline of Maryam. Thank you very much. God, did you hear this? <laughs> I know. So, but this is stupid. Mary and how? Aaron. Mary and Aaron. There's, there's a, there's, a, there's a thousand years before them. How, 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 how Aaron? How Aaron? How do you know that? How do you know that? <laughs> My friend Moses. Moses was in, was the uncle of Jesus. No, how do you know that? Give I'm asking evidence. you. According to you, Moses is the uncle of Jesus. Is the uncle of Jesus? You are saying that because you are saying Mary and Aaron and and uh, and, oh. and Moses are sibling. <laughs> no, Aaron and Moses and Imran and ha and Maryam are all. The Imran is the father of them. Okay, this is what I'm saying. So Jesus is Quran, the nephew okay. of Moses. Where is your proof that they're not siblings? Okay, so you are saying to me that. Mo okay, you are saying to me that Isa is the nephew of of, of Moses, right? <laughs> He's his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> you do you do realize you do realize okay well first of all the quran says ya ukhta harun yeah uh -huh. it is not allah who is saying it is the people of uh, maryam this that are saying, saying if allah is god how come he do not know that no way that mary she is the she is the sister of aaron <laughs> where is the proof what the proof the, the books i mean even here okay let me ask you according to your islam musa's came just like a year before jesus Two no, months before was, um, Jesus. I don't know how many years, but it's a long years. Okay. According to Islam, Moses was in Egypt, right? Um, yes, Egypt. Okay, was Jesus Israel. in Egypt too? Did he came with his uncle from Egypt? No, Jesus was in <laughs> Palestine. <laughs> this is why okay, we are saying point? this is why we are saying that Islam is the what's most the Islam is the most silly stupid religion cult if because, saying, because saying everybody is laughing, my friend. You can go you can go right is. now, you can go right now, and everybody, I mean, we're not lying to you, my friend. Go and check. There, there's long period before be, between Musa's and the and the and, yes, and yes, Jesus. I know what you're saying. Could I answer, please? Okay. Okay. Okay, listen. Yeah, Ukta Harun. Okay, mm -hmm. even if people say this verse is talking about something. You know, because they used to call the son of the back in the day the same name as the. That's okay. You can say that, but Allah says Bintu Imran. He, she is the daughter of Imran himself. Mm. Okay. Mm. But who's so Imran? Who's story Imran? has to connect. Who is Imran? That means who's, your book is wrong. Who's Imran? Okay. Who's Imran? Who, who's Imran? You said to me that the Quran mentioned the stories is 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 in the Bible too. Okay. Let me ask you. Can you show me where in the Bible it says that Mary she have a father. His name is Imran. Mary she had the father, his name is Imran. Yeah, where do you get his name from? Muhammad is confused. Mouth, you see, all okay, what happened, my friend, all what happened, your prophet, because he's a he's a he's a he's a false man. He is copy, he, he is learning from the Jews, but he is a stupid, he's not smart. You he thought he thought that answer. Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, because there is a woman, her name is Maryam. She is answer. really the sister of Aaron, but this is not the same Maryam. So you're a prophet because he is a fool and because he's a liar. He cut that from the Jews. He put it in his Quran. He made a verse about it. He thought this is the same woman. Could I answer? Go ahead. Listen, Christian priest, you can try to beat around it for a hundred years, but the truth is your book is written by 40 men, okay? How, how many people Stop. wrote your book? Your book, your the, the Bible. Hold on, hold on. How many, how many people written, written how many okay? people written so your book? How many mistakes. how your many people how many people written your book? Thousands? Written my book. Yeah, how many? I'm not talking about written, I'm talking about the word. No, you are saying to me your book written by 40. Let's say written by 100. Let's say written by your book when you say 40. You you know when I say 40, your, I mean your, like hold Matthew, on, hold John. on. No, no, my friend. My book is a book of books, it's not a book. You are being silly now. My book, the Bible, is the <laughs> book of books, it's not a book. Yes, we can go open now. We see that there's a book, a book, 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 book. So we have books, not book. So we call the Bible, which is the book of book, it's not the one book. So it's very normal to have many books because there's many prophets. Now I'm asking you, the book you have in the front of you, is that written by Muhammad? Written, but no, it's not written by Muhammad. Thank you very much. Why is it not written by Muhammad? It was written down on paper. By, I am asking you, it's why it is not written by Muhammad? Where is the Quran of Muhammad? What are you talking about? You're making yourself sound dumb. I'm what asking you, you isn't it the Quran says that Allah is going to collect the Quran and He is going to recite the Quran? No, Allah He says I'm going to protect the Quran. No, here we go. Okay, how do I? Uh, uh, okay. Allah is saying to you that it is our duty to collect the Quran, not the duty of any man. Why Allah did not collect the Quran? Okay, could I, could I answer? Yeah. Stop. 
when Allah said, I am going to collect the Quran or I'm going to protect this Quran, mm. it doesn't mean like he's going to collect it with his own. It means he's going to use. Who the said that? Who said, it. who are you to say it's not what he meant? What is the, the scholar is that we got scholars, you're not a scholar. Okay, show me the scholar who said that. The scholar did not say that. You're lying to me now. Okay, could I, could I say something to you very quick, please? You are saying to me the scholar, they say that. The scholar did not say that. Here we go. We can change any translation. We can show you any interpretation you want. Allah said it is on us to recite and to collect the Quran. It is on us. Us who? You're trying to hide the translation now. I can see. I am not hiding. It's in front of you. This is your Islamic website. You can change to any translation you want. I, for me, I do not need translation. Open the back up. Open the back up. In the front of me, there it says, up. in the front of me, it says, Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Qur'anahu. I speak Arabic. Arabic is my language, not not second language. So I do not do need translation. Allah means, do you think Allah means he's going to come down on the earth for himself and collect Abdul, it? Abdul, don't you tell think, me, do you think, do you think Allah says it is on us to collect the Quran? Why he did so not collect the Quran? Allah, Allah is the word of the Quran. Uh, huh? I'm asking you. Do you, you do you believe Allah in this? Like do you, no, I don't believe Allah doesn't exist. But this is a lie. Proving Muhammad to be a liar. Allah doesn't exist. Yeah, who do you believe in then? My friend, when Allah he says, if Allah is exist, and he said it is on us to collect the Quran, and he did not collect the Quran, that means he's a liar. He, he didn't exist. collect the Quran. It's not him. The one who collect the Quran is Uthman ibn Affan, and he is even burned the other Qurans. He did not yeah, collect Uthman them. Burned. If man burned all the other Quran that people were writing, so we, there can only be one Quran mm. with the dialects, different dialects, because of Allah's will. Allah, He said, uh, burn the other Quran. No, He burned the Quran so people don't get confused. Oh, so you are saying if you have more dialect, the, the people will be confused? Yes, back in the day, yes. But we got seven. We got ah, ten dialects. Ah, but the, but back in the day, your prophet he says no. Your prophet he says. If we don't have seven dialect, my people will be confused. It's not what you are no, saying. No, we have seven dialects now. We have it. No, you don't have it. What do you mean? Give me the seven Quran you have. Where are they? Not seven Quran, seven dialects. Seven dialects are seven Quran, my friend. It is seven because dialect means, do you know what dialect means? Yeah. It's different words. It's different words, different words, different words. In Inna al mu'minina wa inna al mu'minina. Abdul, no, 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 no. This is not. This is not the dialect we're talking about. There's different words, totally different words, and we can show you. We can make just a special time for that. And don't talk about this topic because you do not know. Let me show you. Yes. This is your You're prophet. Right, well, okay. Right. If 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 the difference is just between mu'minina and mu'mininu, why your prophet saying they are not capable of doing it? What the difference? There's no difference. Believer and believers is the same. So wh why they cannot handle it? He says, he says here, they cannot, forgive me. My community cannot, they don't have a strength to do so. So he's talking about what? You're a prophet was reciting verses totally in a different way. And this is why in the Quran. Different, different. They were all revealed by Allah. But okay, I want to ask you a simple, a simple thing before I let you go. Okay. You're a prophet was lying when he made Quran or not? No, say yes or no? No. Okay. Why Allah in the Quran says in chapter 2, Verse number 106, nothing of our revelation, we abrogate or we cause to forget, we will make something better or similar. Yes. Why? What does that mean? How Allah will make a better Quran than his Quran? What I answer, are you going to let me answer? Go ahead. Okay, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hmm. let's say he will bring a verse to the, Allah will reveal a verse saying, Oh Prophet of Allah, this is, I'm just telling you, okay, Oh Prophet of Allah, if you see anybody stealing, Chop their hands off. Okay, I'm just telling you, okay? Mm. Chop their hands off. Mm. And then later on, if poverty comes, Allah will come and say, Oh, Prophet of Allah, you will not chop hands off. Let them go. Give them a chance and give them back. There's, That's no, what it means. there's no verse that says that. Because of, you know what? I'm just trying to explain it to no, you. No, this is a lie. Way. Don't explain to me with lies, my friend. I'm asking okay, you. Okay, okay. Hold on, example. hold on, hold on. No, this is, are you saying to me that this verse is better than this verse? Uh, this is a, this is a city of you to say because Allah words is not. He will bring a better verse. Better, better. What do you mean better? How it's going to be better? Quran is Quran. It will be better of the time that they're living in. No, 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 no. This is not what it says. Read carefully with me. None of our revelation we cause to be forgotten, or we, uh, either we make something better or similar. So. How it can be better and how it can be similar. This is silly. And why he calls okay, you to want, forget it if it's answer. going to be similar? I want to answer. Hmm. Okay. Okay, you're gonna under, I'm gonna make it seem like you can understand very beautiful. Okay, let's say the prophet was in Mecca, okay? Hmm. You know, in Mecca it's um it's all about, you know, Allah says in the Quran, he says, What's beautiful? be patient, okay? Hmm. Upon the punishment you have. But later on, when if somebody tried to do the same punishment they did to them when they were weak in Mecca in Medina, 
this time in Medina, Allah will say, fight back against those who fight you. You understand? This is not the question, man. I don't care about what you what you say. I'm saying, how Allah, it. this is not the Imagine question. First, you time. are being silly now. Allah is says, he says he will cause you to forget the Quran. Why he will oh, yes. forget that the Quran? About, okay, yeah, that's true. Huh? Okay, what, can you tell me a verse Allah, he calls you to forget? No, I don't know a verse. I'm just saying he can make no, it. No, 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 no. It says, none of our revelation, we do abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Why Allah want you to make 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 you forget the Quran? What no, he said none. No, none of our revelation, but we do this, which means any of revelation no, we do. Bad. Abdul, don't, be, don't be stupid. No, none different. here, none here, none here is to confirm. Right. Abdul, none here is to confirm that none of no, our revelation. Okay? None of our revelation do we obligate or cause to be forgotten. But we substitute we something substitute better and similar so he's saying the none here the none here so goes to what to none of our revelation we abrogate or cause to be forgotten what we will do after that we will give you something no, better huh? read it probably you know english read it probably abdul i don't have time for stupidity and you are being okay. stupid now sure sorry you know i don't want to insult you but uh, shame on you do you want to show you do you want to show you change the translation should i translate i mean come on it's very simple don't you okay. know English? I do not need English. It's in the front of me in Arabic. Sorry, and it says sorry. It well, I was a bit okay, so, you, so I'm saying the truth, right? Okay. So don't tell me you do not know English. So I'm asking you okay. now. How Allah and why Allah will cause you to forget the Quran? What's the purpose of this? And then he will give you similar Quran. What's the point? Okay, listen. Um, first of all, I'm going to read it for myself. Can I read it out loud, please? Go ahead. Okay. I want you to understand it. None of our revelations do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten we don't cause it to be forgotten or we don't abrogate it but we substitute it no with something no that he caused to be forgotten he caused it to be forgotten <laughs> okay do you like me to show you the interpretation mm -hmm. <laughs> hang up <laughs> you know, my voice is really, I'm, I'm losing my voice, but Muslims are really funny. Yes, Abdul. Can I debunk you on that one? If hey, you come are... on, you do not know anything. You are the last one who can debunk about anything. Okay, just just, just put me on the you, test. You are, you, are, said, uh, you are the same as you your prophet Rahman. when he pissed before he died. Now listen. You said Al-Rahman. You said why Al-Rahman is number 50, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Okay, you ready to just have a, a decent debate so I can prove to you yeah, why? No, you decent debate with, with, with who? With, with, with you? When we say debate, yes. listen, I never debated you. You are just a kid. Now go, answer me. Why Muhammad received it first time in chapter number 50, yet it appears in every chapter in the Quran except at Tawbah? Thank you very much. Hmm. You ask a question, you have an answer. All right. All right. Uh, you got to know. But Al Rahman was revealed. I can quote you thirty times inside verses before verse before the fiftieth verse where you can see Al Rahman. What is that? But mean? for that, explain. You want me to give I, I you a I don't understand. Explain. What do you, What do you mean? You said the first time Al Rahman is in the Quran is in Surah number fifty in the order of Revelation, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So you, you're saying from Surah 1, Surah 2, Surah 3 to, four, to Surah 49 revealed, there is no Ar-Rahman in there, correct, right? Correct. But I can prove to you a lot of Ar-Rahmans in all in different verses inside 49 v chapters before chapter four, cha uh, uh, before chapter 50. But this is not what your no book problem. is saying. Your book saying that when uh, they heard him saying that, they thought he is worshipping to God because always he used to call only for Allah. And now he is calling for two gods. So don't tell me he was using that word before that. That's a lie. It's just against what it says in the front of us. This is your book. This is your scholars. And this is your Islamic website. And this is your translation. Before that moment, nobody heard Muhammad saying, into a Rahman. That's why they thought he is even worshipping two gods. And because they never heard of this, the only one they know, his god, his name is a Rahman, is Musaylama. So they said, why you are saying, why you are calling him a Rahman? Muhammad, he gave them a verse saying that Allah told me that I call him a Rahman 
or I call him other name all good names belong to Allah he did not say I say that before this is not the first time okay now what if I prove to you hmm. a verse in the Quran revealed between cha uh, chapter 1 and chapter 49 before that chapter 50 that you see Al Rahman my in the verse, my friend. So you see, you see, you see, you're, you're being funny. About you, do, you do not need to prove it to me. I can prove it to you. This is a, this is a proof of corruption because as long until chapter so, fifty, hold yes, on. So. Thank you very much. As long until chapter fifty, Muhammad never, <laughs> never mentioned the word Al Rahman. And you are saying to me, I can find it for you. you do not need to find it for you. I can find it for you. I, I just told you. Are, are you listening or not? I told you in every chapter in the Quran, the word Al Rahman is mentioned except at Tawbah. Oh. Now I'm asking I'm you. Not listen, I'm this, not talking about those. Those are verse. Those are not numbered. I'm not talking about the. No, Al no, no. Al Rahman, Al Rahman is all can over I, the Quran. Al Rahman. This is the, my friend. Doesn't matter where I appear. Doesn't matter. Verse number one, number two, number five, number six, number seven. But, it doesn't let matter. Let me tell you why. No, let listen, listen. The, the they, question is very simple. Listen, why. listen before you talk. Listen before you talk. The question is very simple. How Al Rahman yes. can appear before the first time he mentioned? If this is the first time he mentioned. That's mean the first first 50 chapters the word of Rahman should never mention doesn't matter where it mentioned should not be ever mentioned because this is the first time according to Muslim scholars it is ever mentioned if it is mentioned before that number 50 it's mean the Quran is corrupt go ahead um, first of all uh, uh, I'm not gonna compare a human talk to what is in the Quran first of all Second, what a human talk. What do you mean? The, what do you mean, human talk? You, you said that's what your scholars said, but the Quran is telling you, okay, you so, facing okay, the Quran. Well, hold on, 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 like hold on, hold on, hold on. In chapter two, no, hold on. Are you saying Muhammad is not a scholar? Is, is not a human? I'm just telling you. I am not that, just telling you. Don't tell me. I just telling you. I'm asking you. Are you saying to me that you don't go by human words? Muhammad is not a human. You just said that. You just said to the world hmm. that Al Rahman is not in the first forty-nine chapters. I'm about to prove to you hmm. that that was a lie. That's a that's a lie hmm. for sure. It's a lie because this is a lie that Muhammad. Oh, you Muslims, oh, you Muslims, you added those words there. It's not because in the this is the first time it says the first. Okay, explain to me why Muhammad saying to them, "I call him Al Rahman" or "I call him Allah." It doesn't matter why he's explaining that to the Muslims if he is always calling Al Rahman. Why he's saying to the people, hey, say to them, my name is Rahman, or he call me Allah, it doesn't matter. All the good names belong to Allah. Why they are surprised? Uh, CP, um, first of all, let me tell you why there is Bismillah Rahman Rahim on every chapter and where the first time Al Rahman was revealed. I can tell you the first time hmm. Al Rahman was revealed. Hmm. I can tell you that if you let me talk. Really? Go ahead. It, it was way before verse 50, uh, uh, chapter chapter 50 in the other revelation mm. or chapter 7 in the Quran. Mm. The first chapter revealed was Iqra. Mm. Iqra is mm. Levi Halak. Mm. Second chapter, that was not Al Rahman in it, mm. right? Mm. The first, the second chapter revealed was Surah, uh, Surah uh, Nun Wal Qalam, Surah 68. Mm. The third chapter revealed was. Mm. Uh, uh, what, is the, what is the last chapter? What, what, okay, you say the first chapter and the what is the first chapter revealed? Iqra. Iqra. Okay. Second. So yeah, in, in, just, in Iqra, just let me make okay, a point. Hold on, hold on, yes, hold on. In, uh, in, in Iqra, hold on, hold on. I just want to hold on, hold on, hold on. My God. When, can when, I just make a point on, though? Can I just make a point? Hold, I said I was going to tell you hold, the first time Al Rahman is just, just let me we tell are you. having a conversation. I hold need on. 20 seconds. No problem. I'm asking you. As long the first chapter oh. Allah he received a, a, give, a gift to Muhammad is uh, 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 the one you say is uh, number, uh, number 96, correct? Yes, 96. Okay. okay. Why Allah? Did, okay. Shouldn't Allah introduce him? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Okay, hold on. Where in chapter 96 Allah he mentioned that his name is Ar uh, Allah? So I'm about to explain to you. If you let me explain. No, 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 to no, no, you don't explain to me. You are jumping to different. You are just counting. I am telling you. No, I want to. Uh, one by one. Why Allah? This, will, this is the first time. Hold on. Guys. This is the, hold on. Everybody is going to, to die laughing now. Why the first time Allah speak to Muhammad, sending his messenger, the angel Jibreel? He did not say even his name. Shouldn't the guy know what the name of this guy? 
Where is the name of your God in the chapter? He did not. Why? He did not. Why? 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 He did not. That's why. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me tell you. Yeah, if you let me tell you, I'll tell you. Okay. He didn't say, start with Bismarman Rahim. That's why no, all no, the chapters you were talking about, question. you are talking about. You see, you are not listening. Two, you, are not, you are not listening. Uh, just, you are I? not listening. I'm saying to you, this is the first time Allah speak to Muhammad supposedly by uh, uh, the middleman, the, the mailman, the postman. How Muhammad, he will worship him. How he will, who, who is he? Why he, he wasn't say, being worshipped. Who is he? The worship who, didn't come yet. Who is the he? worship come hmm. when when say noon uh, uh, when it said uh, noon wal qalam. The worship did not come yet. What noon wal qalam? What noon? They, they worship him. What what noon they, mean? Uh, when he said pray late late and uh, late. what or at the end of the night. Okay, hold on, hold on. When hold on. he said to Muhammad, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pray. You see, one, one, one by one, 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 one by one. You see, I can I just, I, I wanna, can I just make a point though? Let's start making a point. See, having, see, see, you can talk, but you won't let me talk. No, just, just make it fair you, because you are not answering me. Yeah. When Allah He says to him, "Read, read in the name of your Lord." Who is oh. that Lord? He will. You will know the Lord now when Surah Al Fatiha will be revealed on the fourth one. Mm. Go to chapter number okay. chapter number so, one, so on here, the fifth chapter okay. number one so, so here, is revealed okay. on the fifth. So here Allah did not Look say Ar Rahman. On the order. Okay, hold on. Oh Allah, my God. Allah here did not say Ar Rahman. Give me the chapter can I number. Speak, what is the chapter number? Can I number make a two? point? Though? No, no, you cannot make a point because here we are we are trying to to understand one by one. We, see, that's what I do. we have time. You ask the question. You see, this we, boy called. We have time. This, we have time, Abdul. We have time, Abdul. Hold on. Don't make me hang up on you like a kid. Come on, be man. I'm asking you. Okay, so first chapter, Allah did not say Ar-Rahman. Second chapter, did he say Ar-Rahman? Third Allah say, chapter. The second, no. second chapter, Allah... Yes, let me tell you. Second chapter, Let Allah me tell you. Uh, no, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. I'm asking you. Surah second, Nun wal second, is second chapter. Second chapter. Second, uh, 68, second, in the order of the Quran. Okay. Is number two in the order of Revelation. Chapter 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 seventy three. Oh, hold on, in the order oh, of Quran. On, one, one by one, one, one by one, one by one. Chapter sixty eight. You said. Go, I just want to go to. I just want to go to number five to show you. I just want to go to number five. No, 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 no. Just let me go to number five to show you to prove to you. We want to laugh. We want to laugh. Can I talk? You said. You just, said. Just hold on. Let me make the point. Then, then you can say whatever you want. Hold on. No, 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 no. You said in chapter. You said in chapter two. You said in chapter. My my side. My friend, call you. Don't make him hang up on you. I'm losing my voice. I'm just. I'm asking you, please. You will. Okay, I'm asking you. Because you're being fair. You you did you mentioned chapter sixty eight. I did not understand. What about chapter sixty eight? Chapter sixty eight is the number two. Go 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 back to the screen. Did he show us the order of revelation? Did he say to him? Go that. Go back to the stream. Show us, show us the order of revelation. Did he say the word Ar Rahman in chapter number two? I said, go back to. I, uh, this is another question. You mentioned to me that this is not chapter number two. Okay. Did he mention the word chapter that number two in chapter number two? Did he mention the word Ar Rahman? No, not okay. on sixty-eight. Okay, hold on. So why Allah could forget in the most important name, and suddenly this name became so important? Why here? Allah I will in the beginning why, of the I will if you let me talk, I will tell you why he's not forgetting. Okay. I will tell you why, but you won't let me talk though. Go ahead, go ahead. You're gonna find no one time in Surah in, in Surah Ar Rahman, <laughs> uh, uh, in, in, in Surah Nun Wal Qalam, you're gonna find one time the name Allah. I mean the name Al Rahman. Hmm. So let me tell you why. You you don't want people to see the truth. Oh, okay. This boy called because <laughs> because he's an ignorant, you're using him. You you mixing him up, <laughs> and I can tell you I got knowledge. Let me tell you why you there is knowledge. no. You don't even know how to read uh, the prophet uh, name. Correct. Okay, go ahead. Go you ahead. see? Okay, show us the knowledge. The one who, who okay. think that Jesus so, have the three fathers. Like uh, I said. Uh, okay. Like I said. Hmm. Like I said. Hmm. In in the first chapter revealed, you can show us the board, the order of revelation to hmm. confirm everything I said is the truth. Okay. You had it earlier with a boy. You showed us chapter seventeen was fiftieth okay, revealed. We, yes, you're okay, right. Here we go. Okay, chapter what about, 17. Okay, what about was 50 years written? Okay, so and now you could chapter 68 is uh, uh, the bottom line is chapter chapter one is the fifth revealed, number five revealed. If you go to number five, you will see chapter one. Okay, my friend, my friend, give me the, the answer now. Why Allah was not was not mentioned this before? Do you know? 
Thank you. Uh, now, go to chapter one. Go to chapter Go to chapter. Go go to order no, number five. Answer. Yes. Give me the answer. You see? Give, me, give me the answer. Give me the answer. One. Why why Allah did not mention this in the first chapter? Because hmm. and the that second was chapter. not part of the Quran yet. Now let me tell you why. Okay, why? If you go to chapter one now, in chapter one, hmm. you will see in all the 114 next uh, 113 chapters, besides uh, chapter number nine, that, that does not have Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Hmm. All the chapters they got Bismillah Rahman, but it's not numbered. There's no number on it. Hmm. The only chapter that got uh, number one hmm. that start with Bismillah Rahman Rahim and got numbered number one is chapter number five. That's when Bismillah Rahman Rahim was revealed. Chapter Bismillah Rahman Rahim, the, the chapter five was revealed. Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin, Rahman Rahim, all the way down was revealed at the front time. That's when Bismillah Rahman Rahim was revealed. Okay, that, that's when the Basmala uh, uh, was revealed. Okay, hold on. Hold what on. is counted so as verse many, one? Okay, okay but so in the other chapters, okay, how many times? Okay, how many times no, the word Ar Rahman appeared like, and numbered? How many times the word Ar Rahman appeared and numbered? In numbered uh, verses uh, on the top. In, no, in the in the. Mean, in, I don't care how how it appears. It appears in the Quran and it's numbered because this. Is, you see, you are not listening. You are like a, like a kid who is trying to defend, but you don't know. You don't listen. The question is. The question is, Abdul. I don't care if it says Bismillah Rahman Rahim or etc. I'm asking you. If yeah. this is the first time yeah. the word Rahman appear in chapter number fifty according to Revelation, that means should not be mentioned in any other chapter before that Revelation. Oh, Do you oh. agree? You know, chapter number one, right there, you're facing it. No, no, not chapter number one. I'm saying chapter verse number, number one, 50. Chapter number 50. Verse is the number one, the fifth chapter of Revelation. Fifth Abdul. is way before 50. Abdul, Abdul. It's in there. Okay. So Numbered. But, but this is mean that there's a corruption. No, it's not a corruption. I can explain to you everything. Well, here we go. In the front it's of not us, a corruption. all those verses, people, hold on. All you, those verses, they have be, a Rahman. Yeah, Do you see a Rahman? Do you see a Rahman? It's all over. All over why a Rahman is appearing here if it is not never mentioned. I, before. That in the, yes, 57 times, I can tell you all of them 57 times. I can tell you all 57 times on the numbered one, okay? But on the numbered why, verses, but why it's appeared? Why it's appeared 57 times, okay? That on is, the, that all is, the is, numbered okay, verses, okay? okay hold 19 on, hold on. times three, okay? Let me, me and you, let us agree. Miracle together. 19. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let us agree together, me yes. and you. That the first time yes. Muhammad he received the word of Rahman is in chapter number five. Yes. Do you agree with that? Yes, uh, chapter number one in the uh, what chapter number one? Right? Did you say <laughs> chapter number fifty? You are the one you, who said you to get me, cut off. I didn't hear you. Okay, hold on. You are the one who agreed. I didn't hear you. You are the one who agreed that in chapter number fifty is the first time Muhammad he received that revelation. Nope. I, I I just proved to you no. What the first mean? time he received it was on chapter number five of order of revelation bismillah rahman rahim al fatiha well, hold on what do you mean uh, okay let me ask you chapter the first time cha al okay, hold on hold on, hold, was on hold, chapter al -Fatiha. hold on hold on hold on okay let me let us go here here chapter number 25 verse number 60 what is the chapter of that number what is that chapter al furqan you, you you tell me i thought you know Chapter what? Chapter of Ar Rahman. No, I know. Uh, okay, what is what is this chapter number there? You mean what? According to you, Revelation. You, you said according to Revelation. Or, you, you agreed or, with me. Or, or the, you agreed with me that fifty is is the first time he received the the verse, and that's why he's explaining. And you said to me it appeared in chapter number one, which is a joke. No, no, not fifty. Because chapter not number 50. one is not I number, said one. number one. You don't understand fifty. I said number what num number, number five. What is number one? Out of revelation. What is number one? number fifty? What is number one? Number one doesn't have a Rahman. Which one number one? Chapter, gotta, I told you that. Chapter number none one. of them got a Rahman at the don't, beginning. Don't make none me of them got a Rahman you. Okay, but number okay, five. No problem. I'm asking you now. It's chapter twenty-five, according to the Quran yes. today. What is the now uh, uh, chapter uh, chapter of Al Furqan? It is according to the Quran. Yes. It's chapter number one. Yes. Hello. Oh boy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm asking you, Abdul. Listen, listen. Yeah, I, I swear to God, you got cut up. I oh. didn't hear you. So ask me. I will answer. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. According to Revelation. Yes. Go ahead. If we go to, to Revelation, all right. 
chapter yeah. tw chap yeah. chapter 25 chapter 25 yes what is the number for it as for revelation al furqan 42 42 thank number you number 42 thank 42. you very much but but this is mean it came before chapter number 50 which is the first time muhammad received a rahman I gave you chapter number five. No problem. Five is before forty-two. Uh, but, uh, but I gave you, okay, I gave you chapter way okay, before that. But this is me. I can that, give you twenty more chapters. Okay, so we are showing you now that this is a corruption because we agree that the first time the Muhammad received a You won't let me explain to you why. How you can explain to me? Only number chapters. Even the one before you agree. <laughs> even the one before. <laughs> agree. The bottom line is. Hold on, hold on. You agree that this is the first time Muhammad received it? Where? In where? The first time I said this is chapter Abdul, number Abdul, five Abdul, in the order of revelation. Abdul, 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 hold on, hold on. Chapter number five. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When, you, said, when, you, say to, when you say to me, I want to explain to you. Hold on, hold on. After, after Al Muzammil and Al Mudassir, Abdul, 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 the Fatiha came, number five. Ab Abdul, that, Abdul, got I, I the first Rahman. Abdul, Abdul, listen. When you say to me, let me explain to you, who are you? This is your scholars explaining to me. I want you to show me a scholar who is a scholar who can explain to me, not you make your own fantasy answers. This is a fantasy of you saying it appeared before. This is what I'm saying. I am saying it appeared before. This is my question. My I'm question, telling you, any scholar, Abdul, any scholar say that is a damn liar because it's in the Quran. Okay. He's facing so, it. The okay, whole world okay, is okay, facing okay. it. Okay, get lost. Get lost. When a Muslim he starts saying that his own scholars are liars, we got the answer. No wonder you call me a liar. So when you call me a liar, just to hide the truth, I am not surprised because what the point of, of talking about this, if you say, oh, I want to show you it appeared before, I am the one who's saying to you why it shows before. Are you silly or what? This is my question, not your question. Why it shows before if this is the first time Muhammad received it? And then when we show you, your scholar saying that, you say he's a liar. <laughs> And why he is not getting killed for lying about the Quran? You Muslims kill anyone who insult Allah. You Muslims, you kill anyone who who, who say the, uh, say a lie about Allah. And why why you are calling him a scholar? And why you are publishing his book? And why you consider him the best to to learn from? Now he is a liar. So he is a teacher. He is a scholar. He we are going to print his book. We are going to publish his book. We are going to translate his book. But he is a liar. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> so why Christian Prince will be upset if the Muslims call him a liar? They call each other liars too. In order to protect the ass of Allah from getting busted, they call each other liars. Did you hear it? The fact you are the liar. You are trying to hide the truth that Muhammad is fabricating his own Quran. He is a liar, brother. He is a liar. Mm, he's a liar. The same as Ibn Kathir. He's a liar, brother. Uh, Ibn Ajlalain, he's a liar. Uh, uh, Ibn Abbas, he's a liar too. Okay. What about your prophet? He says the sun set in the murky water. He's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Why I am even wasting my time with you? You're just a kid. Uh, when we say to the Muslims, uh, where the sun set according to the Quran, brother? I say, brother, it's not as you think, brother. The Quran says the sun set in a murky water, brother. This is from the vision of the Gaidar. He is seeing the sun setting as that, brother. This is not the Quran saying that. It's not Allah, brother. Then we show them that Allah, Prophet, he said that and he explained that in the Quran. What they will say, he's a liar. He is a liar. Guys, my volume is, is low. Is my voice is good? Am I heard, guys? Am I heard? Somebody saying my voice is low. You see, I give them time, and actually, I'm you know, I, I, you need a lot of patience. 
it's like speaking to a, a, a little kid uh, in different language not only in the language of kids uh, why even I want to waste my time with somebody he is he have no dignity. yes I don't hear you go ahead uh, speak louder please okay now okay um okay i want to have a change of subject could i talk about something okay Ch I wanna... you want to change the subject for us why because allah says in the quran if you forget my remembrance you will have a depressing life you have what you will ha allah says if you forget about my remembrance you will have a depressed life you have depressed the light depressed life Depressed life. Uh, well, my life is good, my friend. Do you have a well? What I see. I want to ask you. How does it feel well, after Mus getting Allah? Mus Muslims, Muslims, they are the most angry people in the world. They are most, you know, the most angry you know, people Muslims in the world. Muslims are the least religion to commit suicide. Yes. What is that? We are the least religion in the world to commit suicide. You're, that's, that's no, not you're number that, four. That's not true. That's not true. People Look at the list, brother. No, 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 my friend. Because those Western countries, they have a list. You don't make a list. You kill people. Nobody have a list of them. People die left and right. Nobody care for them. This is what the, the you know. The difference is in those countries, they care for a man. He die. In your countries, people die left and right. How many people die today in uh, in suicide bombing in Somalia just today? Somalia. Mm -hmm. Just today. No, we're not talking about suicide. Okay, what about yesterday? Uh -huh. about like so, okay, hold on. Let us say somebody he is depressed and he kill himself. What about your prophet? He tried to kill himself. We're not. We're not saying he tried to kill him. We're not talking about the people being no, better. No, no, just no. saying we're the least prophet, religion. Was your prophet depressed? The prophets, a lot of them were actually sad. Yes. Okay, why he was depressed? He want to kill himself. Because no, it's not that because he was very that was not because he was but that was because he thought he saw Satan. Because he saw Satan. What is that? Because mean? he thought he thought. He thought he oh, he thought he was receiving Quran from Satan, you mean? Because he'd never experienced something from Allah. So when that hit him, he was scared a little bit. And uh, shook him. But this is not what it says. Read really carefully. It says that Muhammad, when when Waraq ibn Nufal, the one who made Quran for him, he died. A Christian. Abdul, listen, you are the one who called me to say to me. You, do you know we are the lowest people who have depression? That's a that's a lie. The, the, no, look at the list, brother. Muslims look at the list have, in the Muslims, world. Muslims don't live long. Go and see that the average of Muslims live in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, me to say the list. Is, is, is the list. Sixty years old. Your prophet himself did not pass the sixty-three. Now let me ask you: When your prophet, prophet when, you, uh, when your prophet he tried to commit suicide, I want you to give me an options according to science. People who try to commit suicide to kill themselves, not to kill others, to do jihad, to kill himself. Either they are suffering from mental issues or depression, or they have, uh, you know, uh, they lost hope in God. Yeah, that's the same thing. Yes. Okay. Why your prophet? Which one of them caused him to commit suicide? Okay. Could I explain it? All right. Okay. So the prophet, he was in the cave, and when he came out of the cave, mm. he was shocked of what he saw. This just proves that he saw something. Mm. He was shocked of what he saw. He thought it was some. He thought it was Satan himself. Because he's never seen an angel before. He's heard about angels from the Christians and the Jews, but him being an Arab in a place where they worship. Why, why he pagan. thought? Why he thought it's a shaitan? Why he thought that? Because he'd never seen Allah. Before. He'd never seen anything from Allah before. No problem. But why he thought it's a shaitan? Because it came in front of him like an angel. Something was. No, the guy. Him. He came to him as a man. No, not as a man. No, as a man. He won't show you. As a oh, man, okay, and he, and he, he, he was a man as a man, but I thought it was an angel. He came yeah, to no, an he angel. came to him as a man. He did not even say I am an angel. He just started. And by the way, uh, as long as you said he started squeezing him, why? Why is your prophet being squeezed? What is that? Yeah. You know, even even the even the pagan Arabs said that this uh, man my, could my, not write this book. This is another this question. Is why? Heads. Why the angel of Allah squeezed him three times? Why did he squeeze him three times? Mm. Why he squeezed him? I don't know why because of the tests. Okay. I don't know because okay. Allah chose them to squeeze him. Okay, and after Muhammad being squeezed, what happened to to Muhammad? Did he understand better? Did he became smarter? What happened? He said Iqra. Iqra. No problem, but he said to him Iqra. Why he need to squeeze him? And so, this is in your book, by the way. Uh, why did he need to squeeze him? In my book, it say he says to him read, and he squeezed him. This is in your book that there will be a man to come later on. They'll tell him to read, and he will say, I don't know how to read. No, that, uh, in my book, this happens to be Muhammad that said the same thing. Isn't oh, that a okay, coincidence? Okay. A big I, one, I, rem huh? I remember this verse. It says, but this is about the hypocrites. No, you want to open it? Open it. 
Okay, you open it for me. Tell me what verse to be sure you're talking about the same I can't one. show you my screen. Also. No, no, you tell me which one just to show you that you are. Uh, I'll have to search up the Bible. Okay, wait up, please. Okay, no problem. Just to show you that you are, you Muslims are very funny. You are talking about the hypocrite. You're, you just admitted, admitted that your prophet is the hypocrite. They say that the book is sealed for us, which means we can't understand it because we are hypocrites. We are liars. <laughs> you can't even admit that your own people said this book can't be from Muhammad. This book has to be from somewhere out of this earth. My friend, how did, uh, this book cannot be from Muhammad? This book is not cannot, cannot even be, be from a camel. It's a stupid book. What are you talking about? Well, the Arab they made fun uh, of the book. The Arab they themselves, if uh, if we uh, you know if we uh, could but the Arabs can't talk. The Arabs used to bury their own daughters. They can't talk that's, when the Quran said stop that's, doing that. They were shocked. That's a lie, my friend. It's you Muslims who bury your own daughter. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you cut her clitoris so she will never enjoy sex in her life, she will never have orgasm, and she will, die, she will die inside the plastic bag for the rest of her life. And you, you buy her and you sell her. Don't tell me about uh, you don't bury, you bury her. No, she no, is buried no, when she is alive. No, yeah, you're, 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 and you're a prophet. He says, Women, they are the devil. Did he say that? Women are the devil. Yeah, what are you, talk, what, what are you talking about? The devil, you think shaitan himself? No. Yeah, and the shaitan himself. It, but him, but not the shaitan himself. Some, okay. some like natural no, thing no, that women no, have. No, some no, like no, no, no. Read, read, with me, read, read with me. This is, your, this is your prophet says the women advance and retires in the shape of the devil. Any woman, all the women. No, it doesn't mean physically. We can see that they know the devil physically. You know no, that. No, 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 no. Muhammad, he saw a woman. She made him horny, but she did not nothing wrong. She just walked in the front of the house. If Muhammad was a decent man. How a woman she made him horny? Why a Muhammad? Okay. How, how I don't know anything. I'll how, be honest. I don't know anything about this subject. Can no, we change you know, the subject? You know, to the you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Come on, you are a Muslim. You know, you don't want to answer the depression one. You know. You, you, I'm, ask, I'm, I'm having a conversation with you. This is what Allah, the conversation. Allah promised you depression. Allah promised you depression, and you know it's gonna hit you. And you know you have it right now. Well, that's the, that's the why you're here talking only, bad about Allah. The only depression I have is talking to Muslims because they are so silly and so stupid. This is the only he, depression he, I have. He, <laughs> say, he just told you he had okay. depression. Okay. Allah okay. Okay. Allah hold on, hold on. Him. Let me ask you. So when Muhammad had depression, is that because he was suffering uh, uh, like somebody else? Because Muhammad. No, we're not talking about depression because you're getting prosecuted. The Prophet was. People were teasing him in his homeland. This is no, different. No, it doesn't say, no, you. it doesn't say that. You no, 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 read, no, read with me, read with me. It says that the guy who was making the Quran for him, Waraq ibn Nufal, he passed away. And then the divine inspiration also paused. So the guy, he died, no more Quran. Obviously, it's clear. For a while, and the Prophet became so sad, as we have heard, that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. And every time he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself, Jibreel would appear in front of him and hold him from his panties and say to him, Oh, Muhammad, indeed you are messenger of Allah. Whereupon in his heart became a quiet and he would come down and he would return home. And whenever the period... That's just uh, proof that the Prophet is Allah's messenger because the angel Jibreel saved him. No, my friend, the, this is the proof that your Prophet had mental illness. I know you don't believe in Gabriel. Listen, I know listen. you don't believe no, in no, him. No, 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 we believe in Gabriel, not, not, but not Jibreel. Which Jibreel? No, you believe an angel became no, the devil. No, listen, listen, he funny people. listen, listen, Abdul. You're a prophet here. He tried to commit suicide many times. You tell me why. Many times. Why? Because of the reason it says, but it doesn't, I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about I'm Allah not, says to no, you. No, tell me what is the reason. No, 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 I want, you, I want you to read the reason for me. What is the reason? Tell me the reason. You are indeed Allah's messenger in the truth. Thank you very much. So Muhammad himself do not believe he is Allah messenger, correct? At the time that the thing was happening to Thank him. Thank you very much. So why I will believe in him? Take care. If Muhammad himself don't believe he is Allah messenger, why in the world any donkey in the world want to believe that he is a messenger? If the messenger did not believe he is a messenger, to the point he tried many times to commit suicide. Imagine I want to commit my suicide. I say to you, I'm not a messenger. I want to die. I want to kill myself. And then you believe in me as a messenger? You must be stupid. I am the messenger saying to you, I am not a messenger. I want to kill myself. I don't believe I am a messenger. And then he sees somebody coming to him, and they supposedly this is Jibreel. 
and look Jabril don't come to him when he want to leave the house he wait until he climbed the mountain I mean don't you see why you didn't come to him like Allah do not know do not read the mind of this poor guy come to him before he go to the mountain I mean why you went him all the way to the mountain and he want to jump and now you hold him before he take the taxi hey Muhammad Habibi Muhammad where are you going Muhammad leave me alone I want to commit suicide, Habibi Muhammad. Listen to me, Muhammad. I swear by Allah and 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 hamburger, you are a truly, truly messenger of Allah, Muhammad. Really, I am. Yes, Muhammad, you are. I mean, how silly, how stupid story. Muhammad is a kid. So the guy he said to him, "You are a messenger." He go back home, and then second day he do the same. I mean, who is the stupid here? Who is the stupid here? He just said to him last night. I mean, just yesterday he was in the mountain. He said to him the same. So why he go up to the mountain again? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I want to kill myself. Oh, ZB, please, ZB, don't kill yourself. I think I think I am not the messenger of Allah. Please, I want to kill myself. ZB, please, ZB. My name is Zibri. Let me show you my ID. FBI. Please don't do that. You don't do that. You are a truly, truly, truly a prophet. And brother, let me call Zakir Naik for you so he can prove it. A brother prophet, I explain to you, prophet. I swear by Allah, you are truly a prophet. And I believe in you. And actually, even according to science, it's, it's true, it's a dual prophet. And even there is some scientists, they took some of your hair and they proved that it is the holy hair. A brother, prophet, breathe, breathe, breathe. Don't commit suicide. I will speak to you now in Urdu. I go to the prophet. I come to the double amnity. I get over the Nabina. I go with the guy. I get over 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 the guy. And the prophet was like, What? What was that? Brother, I will speak to you in Urdu. I mean, how stupid we are to believe in such a story. What's happening here? Don't tell me I lost connection again. <coughs> oh boy. Maybe I lost connection. Do you hear me, guys? Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm losing connection in my uh, in my internet. I'm not sure why I think they are attacking my IP maybe but I have a fake IP how oh, they can attack it is impossible do you hear me guys am I heard there is something wrong with YouTube I guess How in the world anyone can believe in such a thing? I think YouTube have an issue. I cannot open YouTube. Yeah, I think it's YouTube. <clears throat> All right.
All right, guys. I don't know if you can hear me now. <laughs> I really apologize. Uh, something wrong with the internet. I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, All right, guys. I don't know if you can hear me now. All right. <laughs> um, for some reason, I keep losing. It says connection. Lost. All right. Let's see. We have Abdul. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, this is Ismail calling from Nigeria. Welcome, Ismail. How are you doing? I'm fine. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Ismail? Oh, I want to listen to one of your video talk mm -hmm. saying that, that uh, Muhammad cannot be a prophet because he fought wars and killed people. No, this is not the reason. <laughs> No, this is that was the reason you gave that. No, the, and this, then is, you went this is no, no, no. You see, you see, Muhammad, 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 he killed, Muhammad, he killed. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I land? Muhammad, Muhammad, he killed people just to steal their money, to rape hmm? them, and because hmm? he is a thief. But this is not the only reason he is not a prophet. When we say somebody is a prophet, shouldn't he have a prophecy? Of course. Okay, what is the prophecy of your prophet? The prophecy, there are many prophecies that he prophesied which came true. Which like what? Any. Which one? Like which one? Like what? Like the sun set in the murky water? No. So For example, you, what do you mean? Like no, 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 no. Uh, Let us talk about this hello. one. Let us talk about this one. How the sun set in murky water yeah. and your prophet is a prophet. How he no. say? No. How you say? trying to share the arguments elsewhere. Hello? No, no, we are not. Hello? We are not. Can if you, you hear me? If you are a prophet. No. If you are a prophet, tell yeah, the truth. Yes, Abdul. I asked Listen. you a particular question. No, Abdul. Abdul, why are you the one to answer about this? If you're a prophet, if you're a prophet is from Hello? God, if you're a prophet is Hello? from God, why you he, are, why he, to me. if you're a prophet you is from God, why he, Hello? why Hello, you say, can I finish? No, can you, cannot, I finish? you cannot finish. Can you cannot, I finish? No, no, you cannot. Hello? You have to answer. Can I finish? Why? If you're a can, prophet, can is a, uh, I, shut up. If you're a I prophet, is a prophet. I, don't, I don't make me hang up on you. If you're a I prophet, call you to ask your question. Hello. I, no, no, no. I'm Hello. asking you. I'm asking you. If you're a prophet, Hello. is a prophet. Shut up. Can I ask if, you shut question? up. You see, you wanna shout? Go. Get lost. If you're a prophet, is a prophet. How he say that his God told him that the sun set in the murky water. He is a prophet. God told him. But the sun set in the murky water. Why do I talk about it? If you're a prophet is a prophet, he should not say a lie. And this is very easy to prove that he is a liar. So you call, you want to shout, you want to scream, go and shout to yourself. He is a prophet of God. His God told him that the sun have a sitting place. And he claimed Allah, the God of Muhammad, that he told Muhammad that I will tell you about Zul Qurnayn. Who is Zul Qurnayn? He is a guy, he have two horns in his head. Why he have two horns in his head? Because first time he came to his people to convert them to Islam, they beat him with the hammer in his head. Point, and he got the first horn. Then Allah resurrected him from the grave. And then he sent him back to his people. And then his people, they did beat him again in his head. Point. He got the second horn. And this is why they call him Zul Qurnayn, which means the man with the two horn. Now, forget about the silly story about the two horns. Now, Allah want to tell us about the guy with the two horn. He said, we established power for him. Who is the one who established the victory of Alexander the Great? Allah. But Alexander the Great is a, is a, is a bisexual. We established power for him. And we gave him all ways. And later we see that Allah, he guide him and even he speak to Allah. And then he follow a road as Allah told him. And then until when he reached the sitting of the sun, the sitting what? The sitting place of the sun. How he can find the sitting place of the sun, Abdul? Who is the Muslim? If you don't like the translation, we can change it for you. What translation you like? What translation? He found the sitting place where the sun set. Where is that? Who is talking here? Is that Zul Qurnayn? No, this is Allah. Who is reporting the story? Allah. 
So my prophet is a prophet. Let me speak. Let me speak. I speak. No, no, no. I will not let you talk. I'm going to speak. I'm going to prove to you that my prophet is a prophet because he found where the sun set. It's not up to you. If you're a prophet, lie in one. He lie in two. He lie in three. He lie in four. He lie in seven. He lie in ten. He's a liar. Right? So you call me to scream and you want to shout, oh, I'm hang up on you. Either you speak in polite way and we talk, or you know, you don't want to scream, scream to yourself. Who is the one who's talking here? Allah. Who is the one who gave you this words? Muhammad. Who is the one reporting the story? Allah reporting the story. Who is the one saying he reached and he found the sitting place of the sun? What is that? Where we can find the brother, the sitting place of the sun? I want to go there. I want to go vacation to the sun sitting place. I'm going to go right now. I'm going to search for an airline ticket for where the sun set place. Let me search in uh, in the website for a flying ticket. Sitting place of the sun, flying ticket, airport. Okay, I find nothing, brother, because the sun set everywhere. So how in the world your God, he says, until he reached the sitting place of the sun, and then what he found, he found Discovery Channel there. He found that the sun sitting in the murky water. I understand in the Middle East everything is muddy. I understand that. But the sun too is swimming in the muddy water. Why? She's a pig. What happened to the sun? She became a pig these days. So you scream. I can scream too. Let us scream together. I mean, how funny. You wanna you wanna answer or not? We give you time to answer, but don't shout. You say that the prophet he caused he killed people, he is not a prophet. No, this is not the reason. You're a prophet is a thief. Criminals get killed. If I kill a person, he's a criminal. I'm not a I'm not a bad person. And then now courts they executed. Bad criminals doesn't mean that the judge is a bad person. That's not the story. You're a prophet, he says, attack the room and so we can get the blondie girls. Hmm? Now I think, brother, I found where the sun set. I'm not sure, brother, if this is how it's set or not. But I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> here we go. We found where the sun set, brother. But the, the water there is not murky. Hello. So you want to answer why your prophet, he lied and he said the sun set in the murky uh -huh. water? Told you to ask the question, but you are not allowing so, me to. Okay, okay, my, my friend. So, so, what the problem with this so question? Ask, uh, is is this hello, que is this question is embarrassing? Don't make I me block you. No, Abdul. No, no. I call it for a, for a particular. Okay, shut up there. Obviously, this question is getting your prophet exposed. That's why you don't want to answer it. Hello. No, hello, hello. It's me you are looking for. <laughs> it's not up to you. Why you don't want to answer this question? If you're a prophet, is a prophet. This is a prophecy. He prophesy about what happened in the past. Something nobody knows. Save your prophet. Hello. Hello, Christian friends. Mm. Yes, Hello, Alaikum. Wa alaikum uh, United States. Stupid. Same kid. Why the sun set in the murky water? Why Allah his enemy is a pig? <laughs> my brother, my prophet is a prophet, but he believe in the most silly, stupid things. And his God told him the most silly, stupid things. Somebody saying that they are 
uh, they are losing the internet because they are uh, attacking your IP. They cannot know my IP because my IP, I have a fake IP. Don't worry. I can change my IP, make it in India if I want. Don't worry. So here you notice that the Muslims, they are desperately trying to defend, but defend who? Defend a person who obviously proven to be a fool. Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. And the more he talk, the more he says stupid things. I do not need to prove one million lie, Muhammad, he said, to prove that he's a liar. One lie is enough. Especially if he's claiming that he learned that from God. I understand that a human being, you know, he commits sin, maybe he lie, etc. But this is not a lie about uh, something he said to his wife or, you know, this is a lie about God said to him. Right? God said to him, when I say to you, God said to me, and you discover that God, there is no way he will say such a stupid thing, obviously you are a liar. And after that, nobody will believe you. <clears throat> Who is next? Uh, somebody asking what program you use to hide your IP there's tons of programs search for them and they are paid you have to you have to buy it you have to buy it some of them they will slow your internet and actually this is why my internet is slowing down and maybe this is why I'm losing some time connection <clears throat> any Abdul This is a prophet of God. What about a prophet of God? He said the sun goes every day from the east to the west. This is a prophet of God. A prophet of God, he believed that the black dog is a devil. This is a prophet of God. It's not because Muhammad he killed somebody. That's not true. Muhammad is a thief, yes, and that is against the ethic. Muhammad is a criminal. Muhammad is a hate monger. But Muhammad, not only that, Muhammad he made verses about women giving themselves to sleep with him, claiming that God said that to him. What does this have to do with God? Why God, when I give a man a verse that says any woman she can if you. What that will do to Islam? What is the benefit of knowing God with Muhammad sleeping with our women? Hmm? What that have to do with God? Islam will not be accomplished unless Allah, he says to him, that you can go and if all those women, oh, Prophet, we made love for you, Prophet, your wives. Have you ever heard of a silly stuff like this before? Allah saying to Muhammad, you can F your wife. The guy he's effing his wife son century ago. Prophet, you can F your wife, brother. Uh, brother, she is my wife. Yes, Prophet, Prophet, you can F her. But uh, brother, she is my wife. A uh, brother, I just I am Allah and I tell you you can sleep with her. Okay, okay, I got it. What else, brother? And then a brother. All the women who they are given to as a spoil of war. Muhammad, he can if all the women who are spoil of war. Me. Only. How many tens of thousands they are? Is it enough? No, no. And the brother, 
and all the women who they are the daughter of your uncle and the daughter of your aunts and the daughters of your thin ankle and or on mother's side or the daughter of your aunt from my mother's side or any immigrant women who this he likes she like to give herself to the prophet give herself what does that mean a woman she want to give herself Who want to give herself to me? I'm Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, well, here it says, yeah, thank you, you know. You see, the Quran says the word, yes, thank you. Here we go. To F her. The Muslim did falsely translate. They say to marry her. We showed you before, even from the Muslim website, it says that the word nakah or nikah mean the F word it is the physical sexual intercourse you remember <coughs> we can find the reference hold on I save it somewhere because I save this one because sometimes it's hard to find it in English Here we go. Read carefully with me. This is the Muslim website. And what is that? Oh, we can close. Not trusted, trusted, interested. Not interested. All right. Read with me carefully. This is the Muslim website, not my website. Let us zoom in. First of all, this is which, which website? Go ahead. Alislam.org. Do you see it? Alislam.org. This is not a Christian website. Okay. We go down, and here they will give you what the word nikah mean. Read it. The Islamic term for marriage, nikah, literally means and this website keep jumping. I think it have a script. Uh, literally mean where where it goes. Oh boy. Here we go. The Islamic term of marriage is nikah. Literally mean sexually intercourse. Do you see it? Do you see it? There's no marriage. A Muslim, when he said to a Muslim woman, I want to marry you, he's not saying I'm married. I say, I want to if you. And this is not me saying that. Here we go. You see, they keep saying, No, he's lying. He's lying to you. He's lying to you. It doesn't mean that, etc. Muhammad, he says, Allah cursed the one who do nikah to his hand. Do you marry your hand? Have you ever seen somebody marrying his hand? He's talking about masturbation. Hmm? Where is and you know and if we go back to the verse I mean what 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 is the benefit of Allah saying to Muhammad you can sleep with any woman you want and any woman she can give herself to you what does that mean even Aisha she got Muhammad busted she said inni ara rabbuka yusari'u ila hawaka ya Muhammad I see that your Lord, he has to into your sexual desire, Muhammad. Aisha, she is not stupid. She got him busted right in the spot. I feel jealous of women who offer themselves to Allah Messenger. What the heck is that? I mean, imagine you live in the time of Muhammad. Now there is an, a bunch of women. They are ready to be effed by the prophet and they are coming to the prophet prophet take me my have I have big breast prophet Look at my bomb prophet prophet, please prophet women. They are offering themselves to the prophet to if them What what is the religion of uh, what kind of religion this religion, you know all cult leaders in the world the first thing they do They sleep with women. They follow them Is that correct guys? all of them all cult leaders they share one thing 
whoever believe in them and follow them the first thing they will do they will start sleeping with women who they believe in them if you don't believe me go search right now in Google there is a history of them there is long list this guy he made it officially legally give yourself to me you give yourself to me you make Allah happy what that will do to Allah what that will do to Islam women offering themselves to the Prophet for what he have already 13 wives he have all the six slaves he own why he need the, the believing women to give their vagina to him even in the interpretation it says that if the Prophet his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her immediately <clears throat> the the one is asking me in Skype what is the proxy you use my friend I cannot share with you what my proxy just you use it use I mean search for anyone I can't share reading really my for my security reason I can't share what I use you find the program there's tons of them go and there's a review in YouTube you can see which one is best for you all right don't ask me those questions and yes, it's very easy. It's true. You can change your IP easy. You can make it any country you want. You can make yourself speaking from India. But obviously, people will know that you are not speaking from India, right? But that will spoof your 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 IP, will not make them able to know where are you exactly. So you can choose a location. I advise you to choose a location, make it fixed. That will make you the one who's trying to hack you believe you are living there. Don't change every day. <laughs> Just give it as it is, so they will they will uh, they will enjoy attacking fast uh, uh, place. Anyway, <clears throat> you see, I feel sorry really for people who they are like from Nigeria. They are naive. I, I believe Nigerian people are good people. I believe in that. But you know, uh, you are deceived. You have been lied to. You don't speak the language. You are defending without knowing. And you know, you want to say to me, your prophet, he was killing. You want to say to me, what Musa's he killed too? You want to say to me, Musa's was killed or he killed? You want to say to me, David, he killed? But that will not change anything. You see, even David in the Bible, when he killed, he cried for God asking for forgiveness. You're a prophet, he killed to steal, and he don't cry for God for forgiveness. You're a prophet, he say, go and attack the Roman, not to spread Allah words. No, I can show you the reference to get the blonde girls. You're a prophet, he take advantage of your women. Imagine you are living in his time, and you're a prophet, he wanted to sleep with your wife. What kind of a prophet he is? We are not rejecting Muhammad because he uh, he uh, he had war. That's not a reason. But we reject Muhammad because his words is he is using God for his pocket. He is using God for his 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 penis, as you see. If Muhammad is serving God, why he is? Imagine I say I accept donation women. Who is a woman want to donate herself? I am Muhammad. I want donation as women. I mean, obviously, this is a this is a scam. And his wife, she is watching. I mean, how? What kind of a decent man he is? And by the way, in this story, the one she offer herself, uh, uh, you know, she is his auntie. I mean, how how she is auntie? He's uh, offering herself to Muhammad. And look here, they are saying to her, Aisha, those women are better than you. They offer themselves. What? I feel jealous of women offering themselves to Allah Messenger. And said, then when Allah exalted the glorious revealed this, you may differ between, uh, differ any of them as you wish. Not only Allah, he gave him license to if any woman she give herself, no. You can differ, which means if a woman you don't like how she looks, say to her, you go, no, I don't want you. You come, 
You come. You you look. You know. Look. Turn. Turn. turn you look. So cute. Go to the bedroom right away. Take off your panty. What? Muhammad he made a verse. Any woman she can give herself, and then some. Excuse my language. Some women who don't he don't like how they look like. He don't want to sleep with them. So how now? He what he would do? He said any woman can give herself. Muhammad right away. Allah is working for him. He made a verse saying any woman she can defer. Any woman he can accept. So at the same time, he made the verse saying any woman she can give herself to save his ass from the women who he don't like how they look like, or maybe they are old. He says, oh, you can differ anyone. It's up to you. <laughs> you can set them aside. What they, are, are the chickens? God saying to him, you can set women aside. Women offering themselves, set them aside. Uh, because they are old or I don't like how they look like I take only uh, I said to you any women she want to give myself but I forgot to say any beautiful women and there is no sin if you do that Aisha she said to Muhammad it seemed to me that your Lord has turned to testify your sexual desire Aisha she is not stupid This is the truth coming from the mouth of Aisha. Aisha, she noticed right away that this God, he worked for the sake of the testicles of Muhammad. Muhammad's testicles are horny. Allah is horny too. And as I say to you, you know, if you don't believe me, go check. All cult leader. Cult leader around the world doesn't matter what there's cult leaders. They claim to be Christian too, by the way All of them they share one thing they start sleeping with women who they follow them. He claimed to be a prophet as a first step Then he start preaching and claiming that he is from God. That's what prophet do, right? Then the second step after he got a group of people believe in him. He starts sleeping with the women who believe in him all of them No exception And that is Muhammad. Why a man he have all those wives and all those slaves? Still, he want God to make a verse for him. Just any woman she want to give herself. What's the point of that? What exactly that will do to Allah? What? Just to make Muhammad testicles happy? More women in his bed? That's obvious. Right? And Muhammad is the best of mankind. Now, let us go back to the article about 10 facts about Allah. <clears throat> we finish this one about the best name. Allah is unique. I agree. Allah is really unique. I mean, nobody says stupid things as much as Allah. Have you ever heard of a God he sat in the top of a rooster? A rooster. The Muslim they claim or complain that Jesus he ride a donkey. They say, How God he ride a donkey? Your God he ride a rooster. Let me grab the reference. Hold on. I mean, I like to see God he sat in a in a rooster, by the way. I mean, that's that's so cute. That's fun. I want to do that too. <clears throat> but I need to buy a rooster first. Let us see where we can get the reference. Hold on. You know, most of them they will say you are lying. Brother, there we go. 
the the only problem we have is to to find you know reference which is in English. Uh, read carefully, Abdul. Salafi, this is what Sahab Salafi Network. Nice to meet you, Sahab. Okay. إن الله أذن لي أن أحدث عن ذيك قد مرقت رجله الأرض وعنقه منثن تحت العرش. and he say ويقول سبحانك ما أعظمك ربنا فيرد عليه ما يعلم ذلك من حلف بكذبة. I want to tell you about a rooster who his feet down in the ground sauce. And his neck under the throne of Allah. <laughs> I mean, look how big this rooster is. And he says, This deek, this rooster, he says, Praise be to Allah. There's no bigger than you. And Allah, he answered him, No one says that to me except those who don't lie. And then, Rawahu Tabarani, it's mentioned in, by Tabarani in the book of Al Awsat, very number one, page number 156. Here it says, وَهُوَ ثِقَةٌ مِنْ رِجَالِ الشَّيْخَيْنِ وَكَذَلِكَ This is a trustworthy. The hadith is a trustworthy. And the chain of, of narration is a trustworthy. Nice to meet you. So is Allah is unique? Yeah, Allah is unique in his stupid knowledge. Allah is unique because nobody know him. Nobody saw him. Nobody heard him. Nobody. I mean, who, who is better than Allah for sure? <laughs> Nothing equal event to his knowledge, especially. And your God is one God. Well, this is a statement Muhammad, he copied from the Old Testament. Oh, you Israel, your God is one God. You know, yeah, that is exactly what he stole from the Old Testament. Allah, the creator of all things, that's not true. If Allah is the creator of all things, he should know how things is created. As an example, Allah himself, he don't remember which one he created first, the trees or the sun or the stars. Hmm? If you want me to show you, Abdul, I can show you, no problem. Which one Allah created first? Who is the Muslim one to answer me? Who is the Muslim one to answer? Which one Allah created first? The trees or the stars? Hmm? Have you ever heard of a God? You don't remember which one he created first? Chapter 79. Allah finished the sky first. And he went to the earth. By the way, I'm not talking about who, which one he created first now, about the earth or, this, or the heaven, no. I'm talking about object. Which one Allah he finished first? Chapter 79, it says, Allah he finished all the sky first. The stars, he built this, uh, the sky, and he, he made the day and the night. And then he made, as you see here, he made the dark and the night, you know, which means we have the stars. And then after that, he spread the earth. And after that, he made the water come. And after that, he put the mountains on. And after that, he created the cattle. Okay, so what is the last one he created? At the end, water, mountains, cattle. Is that correct? Is that correct, guys? This is what it says. If we go to different verse in the Quran, we will find the God of the Abdul. He changed his mind. 
<coughs> Suddenly, it became upside down. Chapter 41. In chapter 41, <laughs> Allah created the earth in two days. That's wonderful. And then he created everything in the top of the earth in four days. Everything. He put the mountains, the measurement, the substance, the sustains, the grass, the trees. Read it me carefully. And then after that, then he turned to the heaven and the heaven was a smoke, which means there was nothing. And then he ordained them seven heaven. And he created the stars, you see. And then we decorated the heaven with the lamps. And which means this is the last thing. The last thing Allah he did, he made the stars. But hold on. You just told me the opposite in the other verse. In the other verse, the first thing Allah, he finished the sky. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sammy. Uh, <coughs> you see it? It's the opposite. Allah finished the, st uh, the sky first. He built it. He raised it above. The Muslim believe that the sky was down and Allah lifted it up. And then he made the day and the night. Here we go. The stars, we have them. The sun is created. And after that, he started walking in the earth. And after that, he made the water come. And he made the grass and after that he made the mountains but this is totally the opposite of what it says here in chapter 41 so how god he is god but you don't remember which one he created first so is allah is unique absolutely he have a unique memory He's, he have a he have a memory of a, a scroll. What what the you know those uh, those uh, little uh, scroll. Uh, uh, you know they they hide their food during all the summer. All the summer. And then when they start looking for it in the winter, they don't know where they hide it. <laughs> yes. Hello. All right. This poor animal. He hide his uh, uh, his his food all all the 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 summertime. And when winter come, he don't remember where he put it. So what he find, he start digging in the ground, and he will find what other like from his kind, what they hide themselves, which means you don't find what you hide yourself, you 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 not necessarily you might find what somebody else, he 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 you know he hide under the ground. Allah is the same. He do not remember which one he made first. Hello. 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 Yes. مرحبا. هلا. أريد أن أشارك شيء. Can you speak English, please? Uh, no. So why you are not going to speak English? If you know English, why you don't want to speak English? Because I don't care about the viewers. I only care about you. You know, I care for the viewer too. I'm here for the viewer, not for you. D didn't you say the Arabic language? It's your main language. Main language, yeah, my main language. Is it your main language too? Yeah. Okay, I want you to translate this verse for me. Can you translate this verse no. for me? Wait, 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 wait. Can you tell me what this verse means? Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, you are the one who's saying that you speak Arabic, right? <laughs> قال له يا فرحان لبسوك ما ضل طوم من وجهك قال له يين الخناقة أسألك سؤال لسن لسن اسأل 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 اسمع اسمع قال له يا فرحان لبسوك ما ضل طوم من وجهك قال له من الخناقة what does that mean 
Listen, listen to me. You don't understand Arabic. You are a Saudi, but you don't understand the Bedouin yeah, language. Yeah, wait, wait. I wait, mean, what can what wait. kind of a Saudi? He cannot speak Bedouin. Ask, speak to me, me Bedouin. I want to speak to you, Bedouin. Speak to me, Bedouin. Why let you let cannot speak ask, Bedouin? Why you are saying in your Skype you are from Saudi Arabia, but yet you don't know how to speak Bedouin? Since when you are a Saudi who don't speak Bedouin? I want to ask you now. <sighs> can you let me? No, you, I, I I will not let you. I'm scared. Why I'm scared? You have no, to, I'm no scared. I want you to ask me in English so everybody can hear. But the point, I have all those who they are listening, they speak English. You can ask me about anything. Oh, I will try, I will try, okay. Okay, go ahead. Prove to me that Jesus is exit. Uh, or uh, let me say, Jesus is God. Prove, Prove to you to that me. Jesus is God? Okay. As long as you said, yeah. you, speak, you said you speak Arabic, right? Isn't it in the Quran yeah. it says you have to worship Jesus? Uh, in the Quran, no. Okay, I want you to read this. In the front of us, <clears throat> I will put it for you on the screen. And you read it for us. Mm. Which one? Hold on. It says that you've been ordered to worship one God and and you know they are worshiping their monks and their rabbi instead of Allah and the Messiah. I want you to translate, I will put that in the screen in front of you, and I want you to translate word by word for us. Can you put the mouse in the verses? Here we go. So I can the, the, uh, the verse in the front. No, which it? The verse in the front of you. I will show it in Arabic. You are a Saudi. Read it for us. Read. Translate. Go ahead. I'm listening. اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانا مربابا من دون الله هذا يعني the no no don't stop don't stop don't stop, no, no. don't stop, don't stop. It doesn't say من دون الله only don't stop there it says من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم translate mm. see we are in trouble the Muslim they give false translation. The Quran says they took their monks and their rabbis as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. That's what the yeah, and the Messiah. Uh, yeah. Listen to it. Okay, so you agree. So the Quran says uh, you should take you Allah, should take, Allah, Allah, uh -huh. Allah sent Jesus to to tell them the God. No, 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 so no, no, that, you, no, you just agree. No, no, don't, 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 don't jump, don't delight jump, is, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. You just agree that says, اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أرباب من دون الله والمسيح. They took their their rabbis and their monks as God instead of who? Instead of Allah and the Messiah. The Quran saying that, not me. So you should take the Messiah as your God. This is a mistake in the Quran. The Muslim they try to fabricate. Oh, that, that doesn't mean that it, it says that Arabic. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic, and you are a Saudi. Mm. Does it say that, or I'm lying, my friend? Yeah, I see. Okay, so it says that. So you are saying to me, prove to me that Jesus is God. It's in front of you. It's your prophet saying in Arabic, and you speak Arabic, and you are a Saudi saying yes. It says that that we should worship Allah and the Messiah. Okay, listen. Do you have another verse? Do we need one hundred verse? I mean, what verse in the Quran is enough to prove? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you see the Bible, Abdul? Don't change the topic, my friend. Where, where are you? Where are you from, Saudi? Me? Hmm? Sakaka. Ah, Sakaka, Joe. Fish barkum. Alhamdulillah. Hey, listen, uh, listen to me. Men, men who the Amir al Hina, Sakaka? La Arfis. Don't you don't know even the name of the prince? My friend, no. I can. If you need, to, if you have a problem, any any problem in Saudi Arabia, give me a call. I will help you. Okay, I'm very connected. Now listen. I don't have any problem. Alhamdulillah, you don't have a problem. Okay, but don't go to the embassy. Asma, don't go to the embassy. Asma, Asma, Be careful. Isma, 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 Isma. One one verse is enough to prove 
that Islam it cannot be from God how you say to me in the Quran that Jesus is a messenger of Allah and in different verses says and you speak Arabic I speak Arabic you are a Saudi you just said and admitted yes it says that we should worship those people they took their rabbis and their monks as, as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah so how you Muslim you say to us that the Quran teach we should worship only Allah but that yet in this verse it says we should worship the Messiah All right, I will think about that. Okay, I will give you 10,000 years to think. What else you want to say to me? What about the sun? What about Allah? Don't remember where? What do you think? Where, where does where the sun set? Does the sun set in the murky water? Can you say that in Arabic? Yeah, okay, no problem. <clears throat> Here we go. Does it say that? How Allah He says that the sun set in the murky water. What do you think? هو فقط رآها تغرب إلى جهة فذهب إلى تلك الجهة. so so الله الله سين الله سين حتى بل listen listen الله سين حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس let me teach you Arabic my friend what you don't speak good Arabic حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس وجدها تغرب في عين حمية so he until he found let us read in translation this your translation until till he reached the sitting place of the sun where the sun set where the sitting place of the sun do you know where we can find the sitting place of the sun where is that and the mara shams my friend i don't care allah is talking now not not Qurnayn. allah is the one is talking allah said uh, i know i know i know okay. so Let allah me. okay allah he said until he reached the sitting place of the sun where we can find that place where is that place Listen, listen. Allah يقول ذو القرنين عندما رأى الشمس تغرب في جهة في جهة نهر في جهة وذهب إلى تلك الجهة ووجد القوم. Abdul, listen. شنو ذهب إلى تلك الجهة ووجد القوم؟ شنو إيش أرجع؟ شو تحكي أنت؟ اسمع. It says clearly until he reached the sitting place of the sun. حتى حتى بلغ Maghrib al-Shams until he he reached it's a place it's a place where the sun set it's a station so you Quran saying that the sun have a place where it set مكان غروب الشمس أين هو مكان غروب الشمس يا هذا هو فقط أطال مثال هو no, What's your name, my friend? What's your name? Mansoor. Mansoor. Hello, Mansoor. You sound like a nice guy. Yeah. You're welcome to call me always. Mansoor, listen. It's not up to you. It's not up to me to say he didn't say he did not. What about, what do you think? If you, Who knows the Quran meaning better than the, uh, the Prophet? Do you think the Quran, the can be explained better than me and you by the Prophet Muhammad what do you think is Muhammad can is he qualified to uh, explain the verse for us yeah if he was uh, alive he, of course he no problem can. I will bring him back to life I did I did uh, I did learn some witchcraft I can bring him to life here we go we go in this in the hadith you're a prophet he said here we go bingo I got him back alive hey prophet how are you uh, what a prophet where the sun set here we go our it says I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting he asked do you know where this set I replied Allah and his message apostle know best he said is set in a spring of more murky water so what we will do now and this is Sahih look this is I know you know huh you know okay that's good you know okay I'm, I'm very glad that you know I thought you did not know so now here we go. We have your prophet alive. 
and now we ask him and he said the sun set in a murky water what the sun doing in a murky water you think she's taking a shower can you please go to the arabic language site here we go the arabic is next to it hmm. read with me carefully i know your arabic is not good because you are just a you know saudi i am now it's good I am. I no, say they can't. Not, you are not original Saudi like me. Yeah. I am original Saudi. You don't even know how to speak Saudi correctly. Come on, listen. Hal tadri ayna taghribu hadi? Qal qal. Ana arfa arfa tkalam Saudi. Yeah. Lakin la tkalam al fusha li kai afu maka ak. Ah, tatkalam al fusha. Shino hada. Rijal. Khaliha. Khaliha. Allah. Allah. Mesha. Mesha. Qal. In fa inha taghribu fi ayn hamia. Do you see it? Your prophet says the sun set. في عين حامية مم. What we would do now commit suicide سأفكر في ذلك وسأتصار قريب He said he will think about that and he will call me back Thank you my friend for no problem yeah okay then don't, don't take long then just uh, 10 years 20 years you know no, no i didn't change anything huh uh, i will think about it okay how many years you need you think you will need to think about it i mean it's obvious is that a friend, joke? Why, why this is a joke why you are saying to me i will think about it it's in the front of you your prophet saying the sun set in murky water that's it i mean how how much need we need to think about it it's obviously that this is wrong I don't know, maybe one hour. I mean, why you need to think about it one hour? It's one second. It says here, he said, your prophet said that the sun set in murky water. Do you agree with him? I would try to find another verses. So are you saying to me, Muhammad is lying in different verse? You have different lie? Come on. Wow. You, see, you see, guys, I don't like what when, when the Muslims, especially from, from Saudi Arabia, insult my prophet Muhammad. I mean, why, why you are you doing that? You just said you will find different verses which is going to contradict these verses, which mean you are going to say that the Prophet was lying here. I mean, come on, don't say that. Last time, i أن رسولك قال أن الشمس تغرب في عين حمية ما هو جوابك؟ جواب اللي بفكر ودقائق أفكر فكر على مهلك هلا 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 عيني هلا he will think <تصفيق> he will think <تصفيق> Think as you wish. Hmm? He's a Saudi, but he don't know anything about Saudi Arabia. <clears throat> oh boy. Who is next? Hmm? Who was next? By the way, I just ordered from Amazon a big box of a glue because each time I debate Muslims, I have to glue myself together because they destroy me. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Um. Hi, oh. CP. Um, I'm Christian, but I've got a question for you. If right. you, if you're willing to hear me. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. <coughs> uh, so, you told me. You told to us that uh, Mohammed was going to suicide many times. But uh, my question to, is going uh, to seaside. I don't know what they mean. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me understand. Seaside. 
Oh, it's always side. It's always side. Okay. Yeah, sorry for my English. Okay. Um, but uh, do you agree that we we uh, can we can uh, can be prophets can be prophets called by God, but as humans we can be insecure. And uh, if uh, I yeah. don't know, it's yeah, but just see, a question. No, but because the, okay, if we go back to the story about Muhammad trying to commit suicide, Muhammad already. He received messages from God and angels. He came to him many times. So why now he is trying to commit suicide? Does it make sense? You know what I mean? Like I'm not talking about just a, a human being. All of us we we have our weakness. That's not the issue. But when when he is a prophet already, and the reason he want to commit suicide because he don't believe himself that he's a prophet. Right? Why? Shouldn't yeah. we ask ourselves why this guy he himself is denying himself to be a prophet? That doesn't make sense. If the prophet himself is not sure that he is a prophet, who is going to be sure? Well, uh, I I don't get it properly because okay, uh, let, let, I, okay, you I'm are you, sure. uh, your name. Let us say your name is uh, I don't know, uh, Rebecca. Rob, Rebecca. Okay, Rebecca. Your name is Rebecca, and you don't believe that your name is Rebecca, and then you want to kill yourself because they are calling you Rebecca. Isn't it clear that you are crazy? <laughs> yes okay you can go right now and search in the internet people who try to commit suicide they are you know suffering either from mental illness which is not really it's not uh, it's not a shame I mean uh, anyone can have that you know if I have a mental illness it doesn't make me a bad person but it does mean I have it so either you have a mental illness or you have you are suffering from depression now all the reference we have are proving that Muhammad have a mental illness do you know why no. Okay. If a man he imagined himself doing things, but in fact he did not do it, what do you think about that man? You repeat the question, please. If somebody, if I say to you, yesterday I had sex with my wives, but in fact I did not. I was imagining. What do you think about what's happening to me? Well, you are literally crazy, crazy. Crazy. Thank you. So, how we know that Muhammad is crazy? Read with me carefully. Do you see the screen, or you don't see it? No, I, I can see it. Okay, it says the prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had sexual interrelation relationship with his wives, but in fact he did not. Okay. How this happened to a man? He is a prophet of God. He is imagining, which means even his sex is not real. So how we can trust that he saw an angel too? Okay, so to be a uh, to be a prophet like that, you can you can uh, have such a such an Im imagination, or uh, I mean, yeah, but you here, can be like that. Here they are saying that Muhammad was under black magic, and black magic is satanic, regardless if you believe in it or not. So the second the yes. Muslim they say that Muhammad was under magic, that means he's controlled by Satan. Okay. So a person who's controlled by Satan, he can see anything. Maybe Satan he made him imagine that he saw an angel. Or, yeah, all right. or maybe I mean, for me, I don't believe in the black magic, but I believe that Muhammad either he is a liar or he is really under you know a mental issue. And this is why he thinks that he is imagining he is seeing someone, and that is an angel. To the point he is so much illusion, but to the point, even his sex is not real. Read the hate with me here. It says, "Once the prophet, I can... once the prophet, I will read for you. Once the prophet was bewitched, so that he had began to imagine that he had done a thing which, in, but in fact, he did not done. Now, uh, as long he imagined things, and and the Muslims admit that, well, he imagined he saw up an angel, but in fact, he did not see that." <laughs> I mean, this is how we can trust a guy like this. If I go to the court yeah, yeah. and I have I have in my papers in the file in the front of the judge uh, a paper from the doctor. It says a Christian prince. He imagined that he has done things, but in fact he did not. The judge will not accept me to be a witness. Correct? Yes. Because I can be claiming to say to see something, but the fact I did not see it because I have a mental illness. So how we can trust Muhammad to be a prophet of God? He saw an angel. This guy is imagining, obviously. 
and why all those things happening to Muhammad? He want to commit suicide. He imagined things never happened. I mean, all those crazy stuff in the world happened to Muhammad. Did I answer you? Yes, got it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, we, we, uh, I'm going to charge you five pesos because I'm a prophet and my name is Muhammad <laughs> for the private <laughs> consultation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, the Quran says before you speak to the prophet, you have to get to, to pay him. You know that? <laughs> If you want to meet with the Prophet, my friend, you have uh, uh, you have to give the Prophet uh, money. Otherwise, the Prophet he will not <laughs> he will not meet with you. Sorry, I mean, no money. Hello, hello. Hello? Yes. Okay. So I want to have a respectful debate with you, right? But don't give me hadiths because not all hadiths are authentic, I believe. Why I cannot give you a hadith? Because I don't believe all hadiths are authentic. So how not we can how we can follow Islam if Islam is not authentic no more? Because Islam is based on what? Islam based on the Quran and in yes, the hadith. And on the Sunnah, but uh okay. so but, the but, 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 Sahih Bukhari was made you just, uh, you, just lost, you, you, just, years. you just lost the debate before we start. Because you just said that the hadith of Islam is uh, have a lot of corruption, so Islam half of it is gone. Well, okay. What you just said that you just said it was made. You just said okay, that okay. Islam is based on the hadith and the Quran, the Sunnah and the and the Quran. Okay, and you just said in the beginning from the start, don't give me hadith because there's a lot of lies in the hadith. So now you are saying to me. That if Islam based on both, a big part of Islam now is based on lies. Okay. I'm saying that not all hadiths are authentic. I don't care. And I don't care. Hadiths I don't care. come with I don't Islam. Care. Hadiths with 200 L years. Listen, what's, what's your name? What's your name? Yusuf. 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 Uh, you're welcome, welcome, Yusuf. Listen, you just said in the beginning, and you remember what you said, right? Don't give me hadith because hadith have a lot of lies. So now you are saying to me, don't give me the hadith, all the hadith, assuming because there is a lot of lies, which means there is no way to confirm which one is a true, which one is not. So Islam now is based on what? Okay, okay. Hmm. Sorry for bothering you. You're welcome. Bye. Take care. <laughs> you welcome Yusuf. Yusuf, I don't dare to debate myself, my friend. I will lose. Trust me. Once I debated myself in the mirror, the mirror broke. I know what to say. I mean, Yusuf is a sound like a nice guy. He's so excited. He want to debate me, but then he found like, oops. I mean, that's horrible. Uh oh. What I just said. And trust me, my friend, you see, I am not against the Muslims. I believe there's a lot of uh, beautiful people who they are Muslims. You know, don't 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 ever hate anyone. Don't hate the Muslims. There's a lot of beautiful people between them, and they can be even better than me and you. But they need our help. Jesus himself, he said, I came to the sick. Not to the healthy, right? A person is sick is not a bad person. He's just sick. You know, he needs to be cured. Right? <clears throat> uh, we are fighting the cult of Islam. I'm not fighting the Muslims, even though they, they hate me. They, you know, they send me a death threat. I've been killed many times already, by the way. Once I came, I found the Muslims opening a chat room. The name of the chat room celebrating the death of a Christian prince. And this was in Paltok. I went to the admin, the company, co-admin. 
and I said to him there's a room I have my name there it says celebrating the death of Christian Prince the smart admin in Paltok he said to me hmm are you saying to me you're alive I said what is are you saying you're alive I said let me see I my name is a Christian Prince and I'm talking to you now and you are asking me are you saying I am alive all right now I know why the prophet was trying to commit suicide. All right. My friend, everything in this cult is silly and stupid. And sometimes I get upset because why people don't see what I see? I mean, come on, all of us, God, he gave us a gift. He gave us a brain. You as a human being given a gift, a great gift. You are not an animal. You are my brother in humanity. What does that mean? That's mean you have a brain, my friend. Use it. Every this, everything in front of us, proven to us, Muhammad, to be a scam. Before you meet the Prophet, you have to pay him. If I am Muhammad now, I will not accept any call from anyone unless he pay me first. Hmm? Anyway, guys, did we have a good time? I apologize for losing the internet today for some time. I think the, the software I use for a proxy uh, for the IP is slowing my internet sometime, maybe. Uh, but it was good, right? It was good. Um, I think we have enough for today. And I hope you guys you did enjoy it. And what do you think about Brigitte Gabriel? Don't ask me about people, my friend. I mean, I don't know them. What I think about her, I don't know her. How in the world you can ask me about a person I do not know? <laughs> I don't. I don't know her. If you think you know a person because he make a video, I mean that is not right. You know nothing about me. What do you think about Christian Prince? All right. Uh, no, I do not need to search about anyone. I mean, not, not of my business. And those people, they speak about the political side of Islam, and they are not a scholar in Islam, right? So for me, they have their own business to warn people about certain issues about Islam and the Islamic agenda as a government. As a political system me I don't do what they do me here I get Islam busted I take Islam into pieces I turn it into dust so my work is totally different from what they do Same country you came from, as if you know what country I'm coming from. Anyway, anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. No, no, we will not take uh, we will not take more calls. I apologize. That's it for today. <clears throat> I have enough, enough intelligence. I mean, when you speak about this cult. You collect a lot of intelligence. Thank God my head don't go and explode because of the stupid cult. I mean, it's amazing how stupid, how silly it is. But still, by the way, I want to convert to Islam. I cannot wait to get all those women, the virgins. Virgins. It's hard to find virgins these days. Zero mileage. The wax is there. And each time you take the wax off, Allah will wax again. I mean, this is alone is something. This is alone proved to me that Allah must be through God. Otherwise, why he is proving to us, he is saying he will give us a lot of virgins. Think about it. The God of the Hindus don't have virgins. The God of the Buddhas don't have virgin. The God of the Christians don't have virgins. Las Vegas don't have virgins 
Allah has virgins. And this is make him the most beautiful God in Urdu. Brother Tata, the only God he will provide that with virgin is Allah. And simply they will be so beautiful. To the point, each one of them, her ass is going to be one mile. Brother and sister, imagine in the heaven of Allah, your wife, her ass is one mile. One mile ass? May Allah ask you. One mile ass? What I would do with this ass? Are you going to have fart in war? I'm going to invest with their ass and use their poopoo as manure? I will open a manure business. 72 women, 72 miles of manure every few hours. I mean, I can be rich selling shit. Excuse me. They say to you, shit don't make money. It does make money. <laughs> Somebody does not know what manure is. Manure fertilizer for, for uh, farmers. They use... <laughs> They use poopoo. -poo. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you all. Uh, uh, you know, I, I pray to the Lord that He will open the eyes of all the Muslims who call us, even those who hate me. I pray to the Lord that He will keep us all safe from all kind of hate and violence, and He will, you know, He will use His good ones to help the ones who need help. And God is all powerful, and He can always He can provide. My friend, the Muslim. Jesus says, knock at my door and I will open for you. He is there, my friend. You do not need to knock at the door of Christian Prince. I am no one. But the Lord is there. He is the Almighty God. Ask and you will be given. Every two of you will mention my name. I will be between them, which means he will be the third. That is the Messiah, my, my friend. The Messiah, his name is a glorious. This is why no Muslim dare even to call himself the Messiah. For there is only one Messiah, and He is the living Messiah, not the dead Muhammad. My Lord is the living God, and He is the one who can heal the leper, who can heal the blind, who can resurrect the death, and He can create from the sand creatures. And even your Quran confirmed that He is the only one who will come in the judgment day. Hakaman Muqsitan, He will be an absolute just, and nobody can be absolute just save God. That is my Lord, my friend. My Lord is the Messiah. If you have someone better than him, please let me know, and I will follow. But I guarantee you, you will never find, not above and not down, not in the cloud and not under the ground, a name better than his name. And by this, I wish you the best for all of you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And they will see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.